Hello, hello, hello. Happy morning, evening, afternoon, and night. Welcome back to another civil stream. Hello. My name is So Fortissimo, and welcome back on in after a week. If I sound a little bit groggy, it's been a couple of days since the last time I streamed. But I hope you guys are doing well. Right. I forgot. I really need to find something for this. <laughs> welcome on in. Welcome on in. Hello to Nick. Nice, la, nice. Or right, welcome, nice. Hello, hello. Hello to Zizar. Hi Zizar! And hey, 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 Jake. Hello, hello. I do apologize ahead of time because I do originate from Twitch. So a lot of my viewership slash like my community is from the Twitch side. So I do apologize when like I stream on YouTube. They're like, oh shoot, we gotta go on the YouTube side. I do apologize because again, I, I want to try doing these like once a week. Just so that way it's like, hey, I exist on this side of the area. <laughs> but I do not, I do not understand too that for somebody coming from Twitch, whether it be a viewer or from a streamer, it's a very different situation, so I do apologize. And I want to talk about today. Today's going to be like a little bit of like, quote unquote, deep talk. And also I'm going to show you guys some surprises I have for the Twitch side um, later. Because I I feel like if you guys came here today, the least I can do is show you guys a little bit of surprises. So, eww, I'll show you guys that later. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys had a good weekend. And I hope you guys are excited for the uh, last week. Our second to last week of March. I keep forgetting it's the second to last week. Also, if you guys celebrated St. Patty's Day, aka St. Patrick's Day, I hope you guys had a good one as well. Hmm. Uh, Zisa, so I'm doing good. How is Sibyl? I'm doing... I'm trying to think about it right now. How am I doing? Uh, I'm doing good. I had a decent weekend. Was texting people. It was, it was cold this past weekend, that's for sure. It was cold. It was rainy. So I stayed inside most of the time. And I'm just getting ready for... Again, I was working on the stuff I was gonna, I'm was going to show off later. I've been doing a lot of work this past weekend, and I get it. I get how, you know, people are worried that someone's like overworking yourself. And listen, I, I kind of sort of technically do. <laughs> but I know my limits if I'm working too hard that I take a break and such. And then I feel like 
Again, I do take my breaks. I definitely took them during this work thing. And I'm very happy that I got this work stuff done because I'm very excited to show you guys what I got set up. So, yeah. Hi, Lane. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. And also Jake as well. I don't know if I said hi to Jake, but I hope Jake's doing well and with that work. Have a good day at work. But yeah, this past weekend, I was working on some stuff for stream, so I'm very excited to show it off. Um, I was also just thinking about, like, that's the reason why I'm doing this stream today specifically. Um, even though I said I was going to do one stream a week on YouTube, but it's a thing of... I was talking about it with some friends about how I'm going to go on the YouTube side. Because the first week we did okay, we were doing, like, one stream that was, like, random. We were playing, like, Apex and such. Then the week after, I don't know, and then we did our, one, uh, we did our three year. Then the week after we did multi-streaming, and multi-streaming has not been has not been too bad. It's been pretty good because I get to have all my VODs over there on that side. The only problem is the week after, if you guys haven't seen it. For some reason, I can't do multi-streaming on both sides unless, it's, unless it crashes. For no apparent reason. So I haven't been able to do both Twitch and YouTube at the same time for a while. Because I didn't want to risk it. So I think moving forward, I think the plan is that I'll have to just do it. Like, probably a couple of hours before a watch party, which I'm okay with. And it's- it, we should, probably YouTube streams will be a lot shorter than my Twitch streams. Just because, again, like, it's before the watch party. But I'm still thinking about it because, again, YouTube's hard. YouTube is hard. <laughs> Saying that somebody on Twitch is like, well, still, it's still kind of hard. <laughs> um, Jason, doing well for now. How are you feeling about those headaches, by the way? How do you feel about them headaches, Jake? Do you feel better? Do you feel like you've been getting some rest? Do you feel like, um, do you feel like you've been drinking a lot of water? Did you drink some water? You, did you drink some water, Jake? In chat, if you guys are not already, make sure you drink some water. Also, I know there's nothing on chat on screen. I'm still working on it. <laughs> um, I'm excited for the watch party. Yes, if you guys do want to join our watch party, um, I can put the Discord link on the chat. Because finally I figured out how to make the bot work. But if you guys want to join the Discord server, there is a link for it. We do watch parties. Um, I ping where I go live. I'll probably do that for the YouTube streams moving forward because I feel bad pinging on on, on Twitter for YouTube. Um, if you guys want to join our watch parties, it's been super nice. Last week we watched Goofy 1 and Goofy 2 movies. The week before we watched Who Frame Roger Rabbit. And then this week, later today, you're going to be watching Treasure Planet. That's going to be very exciting. I was supposed to watch... Um, I was supposed to watch Lilo, Lilo and Stitch, but then I was like, oh, I feel like I'm going to be too tired to watch Lilo and Stitch later. <laughs> as much as I want to, it's like, oh, uh, I think I'm going to be too tired, unfortunately. So, it might just be only Treasure Planet if people are okay with that. Because I, I'm a little bit tired. And then now we can do Lilo Stitch 1 and Lilo Stitch Movie 2 in that case. And then also, um, in regards to watch parties, next week we will be going back to anime because we're going to finish up Fearin. Because Fearin Beyond the Journey's last episode is this Friday. So we might as well wrap up the series next week as well, which is going to be very sad. But that will give us time to watch other shows like Apocrisy Diaries or Master Season 2, which I'm really excited to see. So it'll open up the, the possibilities of what else we can watch, which is very nice. It's very nice. Um, the headaches are gone, and I'll drink some water now. I just hope I can recover enough when I have to go back to work. Like, to, like, right now, recovering, going back to work, Jake? Or, like, later tomorrow? Oh, yeah, because it's your weekend right now. I was gonna say, like, Jake, you're, you're not gonna chug some water and, and, and go back to work immediately, right? But then I remember, Jake's on, Jake's on, like, their break right now is the weekend. So they're not at work, so that's good. Ooh, I hope it gets better by the time you go back to work. I hope so. Because it would suck if you go back to work and not feeling the best. Because and it, But the thing is, too, as well, is that you've been feeling a lot of stress, too, from quote-unquote work. So it's understandable if you have to, like, you know, if you need to, like, step back a bit to be like, oh, I don't want to focus too much on work. Yeah. Uh, on Wednesday, I will, when I go back, when I go back to work, thankfully. Oh, good. <laughs> See, I keep forgetting. Like, I try my best to rec try, try to remember everybody's like little things. So, like, if somebody says they don't work on, like, say Tuesday slash Wednesday is my time, I try to remember that to be like, oh, how's your break going? Because again, it's like those little things that really make account to somebody. Those little things that we remember make somebody's day. I feel. Water. 
there! Hi, kid! Hello, hello! Hope you're doing well! I saw you change your name in your Discord server. Hope you're doing well. Welcome on in! But, yeah, no, we're just gonna chat about what's going on on the YouTube side. And about how I want to move forward with it. Because I feel like, you know, usually when I do the multi-streaming, it's the thing of where, um... When I do multi-streaming, it's obviously the content streaming on Twitch. But I feel like I'm moving forward. I should probably do something different on this side. But then also the same thing too is that I'm very worried about streaming stuff on on here. Just because again, like, YouTube is such a weird thing still for a few of us. And I totally get it. People don't want to watch YouTube streams because it's so new. I totally get that. Um, sorry, my schedule is messed up. No, you're fine. <laughs> No, 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 you're fine, you're fine, Jake. It's not messed up. It's more so I need to remember it because of my goldfish memory. Because of my goldfish memory, I have such a hard time remembering things. But I'm going to do my best to remember that you don't work on these days. Which means Jake can come to watch party, theoretically. Maybe. I'm not going to force people to go to watch party if they don't want to. Um, but we do have a watch party tonight if you guys want to join us. Again, tonight's going to be Treasure Planet from Disney. Excuse me. So if you guys want to join us, you want to welcome to... Mm -hmm. uh, we did Treasure Planet watch party before, but I'll be honest, I was not able to enjoy it. The reason why is because it was during when my monitor was broken. So, so the problem is that it kept like this the the monitor kept glitching, so I didn't get to watch it properly. So I'm honestly very excited to do a redone of Treasure Planet because this time I can actually watch it compared to before. Because yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't able to, and I was very sad about that, so I'm very excited. Yeah, I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want them to be like, oh, I didn't want to cancel. Because there was a lot of people that came during that watch party, and I felt, I would have felt really bad if... If I would have canceled and be like, no! And I, I know it's fine to cancel as well, but we're already here. I could kind of, sort of watch it when the monitor was broken. But I think now I'm like, okay, let's do it again. This time we should be fine, because yeah. 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 <laughs> um Nick Nice said YouTube is far superior to Twitch for lurkers. I love the ability to rewind streams. Technically you can do that on Twitch as well. You just have to go and click on the video and the VODs area and you can go backwards for there. Because that's how I'm able to go and clip um clip people's stuff in case we missed out. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. I know for my streams, I know people are able to go back to the VOD by clicking on the broadcast. So it really just depends on like how you do stuff like that. I know YouTube you can do it as well. Like more live on action. But also YouTube has terrible lag. So <laughs> that's the only problem is that there's just terrible lag. I, even if we turn on the low latency, the lag is just so bad. Like even right now, I think chat's like really behind me right now. So I'm, I'm like reading the messages, but they're so far like delayed, I want to say. Mm. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I hope not, Jake. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to hang out with everybody watching Treasure Planet. Honestly, I've been really excited with um with the watch parties as of recent. Because I know like like the watch parties for anime has been really nice. But also movies as well. Everybody's been really excited for the movies. The fact that people came for the Roger Rabbit. The fact that people came for the Goofy movies, both 1 and 2. And now people are going to come to Treasure Planet, you know, theoretically. That'd be really nice. Um, I get like, oh, isn't watch parties usually like movies and stuff like that? It is. But for me, I also like watching series as well, especially anime. Because I don't get many times in my life to watch anime nowadays. So like doing anime watch parties on my Discord server is a way that A, we can watch stuff together. And then also B, we can, I'm able to watch the anime that I've been meaning to watch with everybody. <laughs> and then it helps too because not everybody's able to watch anime at their own time as well. So it works out both ways. We might do more movies in the future too because I've really been enjoying movies specifically. And one day, one day, we will be doing a Studio Ghibli, um, Studio Ghibli watch because there's just a lot of Studio Ghibli movies I've not seen in a hot second or that I've seen but I don't remember. And I'd be really nice to check out is to watch some Studio Ghibli movies. We were supposed to do it before and then I just didn't have the time to do it. <laughs> uh, we were supposed to watch stuff like what? Um, Castle in the Sky. Spirited away stuff like that because we did one before but again, it was during my um my bad my bad um My bad. How do you say? Uh, monitor era, so I wasn't able to see anything unfortunately. Yeah Um, oh no. Yeah. Oh no 
It's not the best. Also, pro clipper tips. Mmm. So if you guys want to go and clip stuff, oh my god, Zizar, I see that. I like how Zizar is chatting on the Twitch side. I can see that one little message. That one little message over there on the Twitch side. I can see, you know. But yeah, if you guys ever want to clip stuff on Twitch, just go back to the videos and broadcasts. And about 90% of, of uh, streamers usually have their broadcast VOD still up there. Even if it's still live, you can check it out. Mm. And also, hi, Mafu! Hello, hello! I think at this point, I basically know that's you at this point. Because <laughs> I think you're the only one with the outlet. So, hello! Yep, I can see it on the Twitch side. Nice! <laughs> also, How's Moving Castle. Okay, can I say this right now in regards to How's Moving Castle? It's out. Well, at least nice is that's working on that side. <laughs> but at least you get the eat set on that side. Anyways, um, in regards to House Moving Castle, we've done a watch party for that. But it's the thing, I'm gonna be honest, people might come at me for this. It's not my favorite movie. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Like, I can try, quote unquote, to like it. But I've already watched it three times. And the thing is that. I don't get it. I don't get why people simp over how. I don't get why the movie. And he's it too. I till this day, I watched it two to three times. And I still don't get the premise of the movie. I still don't get it. I still don't get why Sophia gets old and young. I don't get why House Movie is. I don't get the premise of that old lady. <laughs> I, I still this day, I still don't get House Wing Castle. And I've watched it two to three times. I'm like I don't get it. I don't get why people simp over how. I don't get why 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 Sophie chose him over the onion prince. I don't get it. <laughs> Till this day, I'm like he should have chosen a prince. She should have chosen a prince. The prince was so much nicer than how. But she chose how and I'm like, more for us, I guess. Can't believe your taste, ma'am. Ma'am. I don't get it, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's Mafu! Uh, time shenanigans? I don't get it! <laughs> you can say time shenanigans and I still don't get it! I'm like, huh? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> like, I didn't went back in- I know they went back in time at one point, but I don't get why! And they went back into the future, and then I still don't get why! <laughs> I was just very, very lost. I was just very lost throughout that movie. And yeah, they do have a book. I do know nice to have a book about House of Main Castle. But as somebody who doesn't really read, um, I will just, you know, base it off the movies for that moment. <laughs> as much as I want to. I don't have the books, nor have the energy. Hi. Gee, thanks. I guess you guys have the Twitch side open and draw stuff at me. <laughs> well, at least that side's working, so yippee! The Cat Returns is probably my favorite. Oh, same. I love The Cat Returns. That's one of my favorite movies. And people question it like, So, but why do you like The Cat Returns? Because A, the Baron is very sweet. And then B, if you guys watch the English version of The Cat Returns, the main female character is voiced by Anne Hathaway. And Anne Hathaway is one of my favorite actresses. Oh, thank you for the pat pads. You know, I'm very amazed you guys can enable your Twitch, your Twitch stuff over here. Don't do any of the surprise stuff yet, though. Don't do any surprise stuff, because not everything's going to be in sync. So I'm going to warn you right now, the new stuff you see, don't rename those just yet, because they're not going to make any sense. Here. Yeah. Justice for the Scarecrow! Justice for the Scarecrow! He cares so much for Sophia. Or Sophie, whatever her name is. And Sophie still chose how, and I'm like, no! And then I know that the, the Scarecrow has lore in House Main Council as well. Like, towards the end, I won't say exactly the spoiler, but he has some reason as, like, relation to it, and I'm like, eh, 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 I don't know. I mean, they gave him something, but it still doesn't make any sense. Reading's overrated, yes, sir. Reading only words is overrated, yes, sir. Only reading webtoons and manga, let's go. Ow! Also, by the way, speaking about that, I caught up on my webtoons last night. Man, I have not read my webtoons in a hot second. Mangas too, honestly. I got to catch up on mangas last night, which is why I was a little bit late today. Because I overslept a little bit. But man, I have not read stuff in a hot second. I caught up on the ones that apparently got finished. And I read up on them and I was like, ah. Good thing I finished it because it was not the best in the end. <laughs> no offense to something like that. But there's just sometimes where it gets really good in the beginning. 
But as later on, as we read more and more, I'm like, ah, ah, it got kind of bad later on. I'm really sad. Um, I'm kind of basic. Spirit Away is my favorite G Studio Ghibli movie. I mean, that's not bad, honestly. Spirit Away is a really good movie, which we might do a watch party for that one as well, because I don't remember how that one went. And I know I really wanted to watch that one because it's really good. Mm. All I remember is that I got traumatized the first 10 minutes of the movie. That's all I remember. <laughs> but that was really good. I remember it. it's not basic, honestly. It's a really good one. If you're going to say basic, I was going to say Kiki's, move, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, which I like. Because I love Kiki's Delivery Service. I remember back in the day when I owned the Pokemon 2000s VHS. They had a trailer for that movie. <laughs> for Kiki's Delivery Service. I think that's just funny. It's a good movie. Kiki's Delivery Service. That's a good one. Um, this def again, obviously, there's also Grave Grave of the Fireflies. It's, it's obviously a basic one. Not in a bad way. But because Grave of the Fireflies is very, like, sentimental. No, I'm debating if I want to do a watch party for that one. Because that one's going to make me cry. But I have to know the lore. So, like, ah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, have you read that Chinese webcomic where Confucius became a VTuber? No, but I've seen it on TikTok. I've seen it on TikTok. Um, nice. The Confucius webcomic. It looks really cool. Um, I just got back into reading stuff recently. So, I'm taking my time slowly. I'm slowly catching up on the stuff I bookmarked to see if they update it, which have, which have. And then I'm gonna probably reread them. And then once I reread them, I'll probably go to like new stuff. Because I need to find new stuff to read because all the stuff I read before are done officially. So like what? Surviving Romance is over. Um, this is one I read about the Blue Rose Princess as a manga villainess. Which is also over as well. So I'm trying to like fill up those spaces with new stuff to read. Which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Yeah. Apple! Hi, Apple! We're talking Ghibli? Yeah! Because we're talking about A. I was thinking about doing a Ghibli watch party night and what movies to watch. And also, what movies does everybody like? Because I know, again, I didn't really watch House of Wing Castle. I love Kiki's Delivery Service. I real I own a cardigan has Gigi and the cat that he likes on it, which is really cute. Um, Spirit Away is a really good one as well. I want to watch Castle in the Sky. I heard that one's really good. Princess Mononoke, I've only watched a segment of it. I've not watched the rest of it. Segment. Um, but I would love to watch the rest of it if I could. Because I never got to watch that one. Mm. We've done a Studio Ghibli watch party before. Where we watched... Um, I don't remember what we watched. We watched definitely House Moving Castle and one more. But it's because it was during my bad monitor era. I was unable to um, watch it. <laughs> I was unable to watch it. Yeah, it's Apple! It's an apple! But yeah! Uh, Ghibli Watch Party! I haven't watched most of the movies to be honest. I don't worry, same, honestly. Um... I only watch, like, I think the ones on top of my head that I watch Ghibli-wise, I've watched House Moving Castle, I watched Spirited Away, I watched Kiki's Delivery Service, I watched part of, part of Princess Mononoke, I've watched Secret Word Arietti, that's a good one. A Secret Word Arietti is a really good one. I think I saw the one in theaters, and not in theaters, I saw it on online, on streaming services, that one's a good movie. And then I also watch Ponyo. Ponyo is what the one I would say that everybody knows about. Because Ponyo became really popular because of the main character. Ponyo became popular because of, you know, of the food that she eats, which is like, I want meat. And then there's also the later Studio Ghibli movies. But I've not watched the ones past Ponyo or Sigurd Arietti. I've not watched any Ghibli movie past though, so I can't say too much about them. Um, Jake said, I will say the only one I haven't seen yet is Pompoko. I think I, it's in Pompoko about the pig pilot, right? I heard that one's really good. And I know a friend of mine did a watch party for that one. I was gonna watch that one unless I'm thinking the wrong movie. I don't know which one's Pompoko. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> which one's Pompoko? Because I think I was, I thought Pompoko was the pig pilot. If it's not, please correct me because again, I don't know my Ghibli stuff. Uh, I love Poco Rosco. I think that's the one. I think I'm mistaken. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I think Poco Rosco is the pig pilot. I apologize. I have not seen Poco Rosco. I have not seen that one. 
I've not seen Castle in the Sky. I've not seen Grave of the Fireflies. I've not seen the rest of uh, Princess Mononoke. Uh, I've not... I need to rewatch... I need to rewatch The Secret of Arietti. There's such a... I would really want to do a Studio Ghibli watch night. Like, for a couple of weeks, we watch Studio Ghibli movies. But I don't know because, again, like... It's a thing of how many people are going to watch it. But, I mean, I'm still going to do it. I love Ponyo. Ponyo is so cute. I'll be honest. Okay, I'm going to say this right now because I was young and not aware about this. But I didn't realize that the English voice actors were for Ponyo and the kid, the guy kid, were actually younger siblings of more of the iconic celebrities like Noah Cyrus and then uh, Frankie, Frankie Jonas. I think I remember that's who they were. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, I swear, the people they got for English voice acting in movies back in the day. It's very iconic. Oh my goodness. Uh, Mafu said it's times like these that remind me that I haven't watched a lot of Studio Ghibli movies. No same, honestly. That's why I really want to push for a Studio Ghibli movie night. I think what we'll do is that once we finish watching Fiery next week, starting April, we'll do a Studio Ghibli movie night. And then the thing is too is that I also want to do a watch party for Avatar The Last Airbender because I know that series people do like as well. It's just a thing of, it's just so much I want to do, but we're only doing it once a week and I'm like, uh, I don't want to sacrifice anything. Because movie nights have been really good, the anime movie nights have been really nice as well, and then I really want to start doing the Avatar The Last Airbender ones in the future. So the thing of like timing of what's going to be a good time. Because also the thing is too is that I'm doing it at a, at a different time from everybody else, like for some people. And I feel bad if they were to miss it, so like I'll have to adjust timing and stuff. Um, that's Pokorosko. Yeah, I thought so. It's Pokorosko. <laughs> Pompoko is a Tanuki family. I've seen clips of that one. I've seen clips of Pom Pompoko. The only thing is that those clips are very terrifying. And I won't say anything, but because I'll give you a hint. They're Tanukis. So, you can see where this is going. And I was like, ah, I see. I see. There was a scene where I was like, oh, that is something. And I'm like, interesting. <laughs> I won't say anything, but it, I was just very confused. And I was like, okay. Um, I think I've only fully seen Spirited Away. Nice one. Talk to the... Okay, when you say, okay, not to stop mean about this. When Mama said the basic one is Spirited Away, I'm like, I feel like Totoro is probably the one that everybody knows about as well. Totoro. Because everybody loves Totoro the Giant. I need to rewatch that one as well. That one's really cute. Especially the iconic scene as well. Oh, I need to watch Totoro. Um, House Moving Castle. I still don't get that movie. Uh, the Cat Returns. Yay! And I think that's it. I, I, want, I think you were there when we did the watch party for, the, for those two movies. And I'm like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely want to do the rest of them as well. King's Delivery Service, I highly recommend. Secret Word Air Yeti as well. That one's a good one. Ponyo. Again, what I'll do is that I'll do a poll. Probably the week um when we after we finish up after we finish up what do you call it? Um Fearin. That week we finish Fearin, I'll do a poll on what Studio Ghibli movies people want to watch. And then whatever ones get voted the most, we'll do that as the um, the week after his watch party. Because, yeah, I would love to do a Studio Ghibli movie night. It's a thing of, I don't know what movies would be good. And also, I've not watched too many, so I'm like, mm. Yeah, I'll do a poll. I would say do a poll right now on YouTube, but we already have something for tonight. We're watching Treasure Planet tonight, so not right now. <laughs> um, I haven't seen Grave of the Fireflies too. Sasuke! <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen it either, but I heard it's a very sad Studio Ghibli movie because people cry when they see the hard candy in the tent, so I don't want to risk it. Um, I've seen Grave of the Fireflies too. Not me neither, yeah. Also, wait, is today the release of, of Stardew Valley 1.6 update? Sorry, it's still a topic, but I just saw it and I was like, whoops. Did I, did I, did I, huh? Because if it is out tonight, I was going to originally do something else, but that is interesting. Um, she do a double feature with Grave of the Fireflies followed by My Name by Totoro. Just like I would really release in theaters. Honestly, I mean, again, I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll with that one nice on my Discord server. And if if that gets voted to top two, then sure. <laughs> or if they don't, if neither gets it voted, we'll do that one the week after. Mm. Sorry, yeah, Stardew. Because Stardew, uh, Stardew's doing their updated 1.6 version. And I think they said it was going to be today. And I, I don't know what hour. 
But I know it's coming out later today. If it's out, to, if it's out right now, I could just play some Stardew Valley as we chat and chill. Because originally I was going to start with something else, but I could just do that. Because <laughs> um, I was going to do some gaming as we chatted. Yeah. Because I did want it to... Oh, it needs to update. Because yeah. Um, Lamal, like, oh, they have a... Yeah, yeah! Yeah, in Popoko, I saw that scene, and I don't know why. I saw it, I'm like, Mommy, I'm scared! Mommy, they're doing something weird in this Tanuki movie! <laughs> I mean, it's normal Tanuki movie, I should not be. But it's a thing of like, ah, I see that's a thing. I see, I see. Um... Totoro's probably the most basic. I don't want to be mean about that because I know my best friend IRL, they love Totoro, so I'm like, it's basic. But I'm saying your taste is basic, but I just mean that everybody knows about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not caught up on Ghibli, which I'm really surprised about. But I don't know, it just never crossed my mind to watch them on my own. I think it's just nice to watch it with people because it's just a wholesome experience. And the whole point of Ghibli is just, again, just watching it with people, understanding the messages that they give. And seeing a cinematic, a, a, a cinematic movie is just nice to watch other people. And that's what I like about doing watch parties is that we can watch something beautiful together with everybody. And it just feels nice to watch that with somebody. Would it be like one person, two person, friends or family? It's just nice to have someone there to watch together with. And yeah, Stardew! I need to get a profile that far. <laughs> what do you mean for Stardew, bruh? I have my profile. It's just a thing of my profile is my IRL one. So I need to make a civil one. I mean, I do have a civil one. But I just have to like, you know. Um, I just have to like... How do you say it? Actually work on it. And funny, okay, originally I made like a, a ghost account where I just sped through the entire year without doing anything. Because I had to use it for something for I was going to do on YouTube. And then I never got to work on it because I just got lazy. And then I got lost motivation. <laughs> But I should really get back on Stardew. Actually, we can play some Stardew right now to check out the 1.6. Honestly, I'm down with that. The only thing is that I can't change the... the I can't change the title of the stream. Which is a bad thing about YouTube. I can't change the title once I've already started. So now people are not going to know I'm playing Stardew, which is very annoying. <laughs> I can't change the title, which is kind of annoying. I just want to change the title. Like, what if, what if I want to play Stardew? And then I have to change the game category. I can't do that. <laughs> it won't let me, guys. That's what I don't like. Annoying. Uh, I heard it started Valley. You can eat a tub of mayonnaise in Stardew now. It's... I ain't seen that, too. I thought it was a joke. Are they serious? Wait, let me see. Let me check the updates, actually, real fast. Uh, Stardew Valley 1.6 update is here. Concerned Ape says to help we all enjoy. This update adds new content to the game focused mainly on the valley, with additions and improvements to almost all areas of the game. There's also a ton of quality of life features and bug fixes. Some of the changes include a new major festival, two new mini festivals, a new environmental event, hundreds of new lines of dialogue, a new end game skill system, new crops, crafting items, furniture, and more. Uh, a new type of farm called Meadowlands, multiple pets, way more, but they don't want to spoil anything. You can check out the full patches on their website. Yes. Um, I'll just grind and then screw around and my days would just disappear I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. And then I reset and watch Rinse Repeat. <laughs> no, not like this. Not like this, not like this. Poor Mafu. That's Mafu, by the way. That's Mafu. <laughs> That's Mafu, but poor Mafu! Oh jeez, there's a lot of updates in 1.6. Yeah, I just said it in the chat right now. But this is from the Stardew Valley Wikipedia page. That's a lot of information. Can you put a message here? I can, why? You want me to pin something, Jake? Actually, can I, I might have to go back to the browser source, but I can, why? Hi, Caesar. Yeah, they added some new festivals and events, a mastery system. Honestly, I'm done switch over to the Stardew Valley, honestly. I want to see these new updates. We can see it together. And who knows, maybe I'll start doing Stardew Valley on, on the YouTube side. That's what I want to talk about as well, is um, is that I need to figure out what I want to do on YouTube because I obviously don't want to do stuff I'm doing on Twitch already. So I think on YouTube moving forward, I might do like smaller content like Stardew Valley. I might do like the GRBGs that I mean to do. Just because it's harder to do on Twitch with all the pressure, I'll be honest. 
Um, so I might just do my YouTube, on YouTube area, like some small JRPGs I've been wanting to do. Probably the lane stuff I want to do as well. I'm just giving you guys a heads up because, yeah, um, I, I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do on YouTube. And I was like, you know, this gives me an excuse to start out new, do stuff that I have not done in a hot second. And I think it's really, I think it's a nice way to just chill and not be focused on like the stuff that's going on on Twitch. Hmm. But yeah, uh, let me see. What's new on the 1.6 version? Mastery system, the new farm type, new dialogues. You can now get multiple pets. Um, a world map. Pets will give gifts. NPCs have winter outfits. Uh, mystery boxes. Let me see. I better, I better get to customize my kids. I don't know what Sebastian and I have been doing to get burnet kids. We both have black hair. <laughs> Mafu! I think someone might have gone and met um, someone like Harvey. <laughs> I think you met Harvey. Oh, the eight, the multiplayer mode can help up to eight players. That's cool. You can have eight player mode. That's cool. Some price up changes, things like that. Qualities of life have changed as well. Ooh, a lot of fixing as well. Concerned Ape went really far with the changes on here for 1.6. They went all out. Because I remember correctly too, I think this is the last update before they start focusing more on Chocolatier. So that is understandable. Um, Jake said, oh, just to say that you're playing a game, you can't change the title as you want to play something like, hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that helps a lot. Yeah, actually, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll do that then because I can't, I don't like how YouTube will let me. Okay, let me put them. I'm gonna start playing Stardew Valley because we might as well. I get the look, you know, honestly. What? What? I'll start from the basics of streaming. We're just gonna play Stardew Valley. <laughs> let me just pre launch it now, though, ahead of time. Because, um, that way I can hide my account. Because I don't want anybody to see my other account. Because <laughs> it's all synced in one area. <laughs> let me do that real fast. Your audio is peaking? I know! I've been trying to mess with it in the side, and it doesn't work. <laughs> and it's because you two don't like me. Ah. Sorry, let me just load up the game real fast, so that way I can get it set up. But also, not show my thing. <laughs> let me set this up. You can hear it in the background too, it's so nice. I'm trying to do this, but I can't get the settings. I can't get the settings. Oh, there it is, settings, I think. So, let me check to make sure. I gotta make sure. Hey, I see someone in there. See? Uh... Oh, I'm just gonna delete these files. Not my IRL one. There's no way of getting rid of that one. That's like my longest gameplay. Okay, now let me switch over to scenes. I think we should be fine now. Let me switch over here. And then let me get the gameplay up and running. Sorry, nice. I can't fix it because I'm still messing with it. So I apologize. Let me see if I can uh, pin that real fast. Oh, give me a second. Let me try to pin that so that way. Um, so that way I can keep that message up there for those who are curious. Boop, 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 boop. Let me pin. Let me pin. YouTube pinning is hard. I can't do it on my OBS, which is kind of annoying. Yay, Stardew! Oh shoot, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to enable the freaking browser. <laughs> oh, give me a second. Oh my God, is, is Stardew Valley just that chunky? I can't click on stuff, oh my God. Come on, start it! You can work! It's right there, it's just really little. Sorry, give me a second while I adjust the settings. There you go, okay. Yay, start you! <laughs> start you, Valley, my childhood. <laughs> but not childhood, but you know what I mean? It's like nostalgia. Aww. Um, you're coming in full circles back to your roots. Honestly, though, yeah. If you guys didn't know, when I first started streaming in general, like on Twitch, literally the first thing I streamed was Stardew Valley. Because it was during COVID when I started streaming, and everybody was like indoors, we had nothing else to do. So we all escaped realism to go to imaginary grass touching. <laughs> so like, the games were like Animal Crossing, on uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon, Stardew Valley. <laughs> so Stardew Valley is the first game I ever streamed. So coming back to it's like really cool. It's good to see all these changes as well. My name is Sybil. 
Bro, YouTube has such a big streaming base now, it's kind of weird to have an added the stuff you typically want. No, honestly, though. Because it's still a thing where YouTube is still learning about how to stream, I would say. They're still changing up their stuff, which is like, I get it. But why is it taking so long to add those updates that we would like? Like changing the title and category and stuff. It's not hard. I think they want to be more formatted, but it's just like, what if you want to change stuff up last minute? You know what I mean? Mm. No worries, Jake. Good luck shopping. Bye 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 bye. Everybody say goodbye to Jake. They gotta go shopping. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. I'll see you later, Jake. I'll see you later either for watch party or see you later when I'm still playing, okay? But have a good one. But yeah, YouTube streaming is so interesting, and to this day too, I know people that solely only stream on YouTube, and I still question to this day, like, how did they do it? <laughs> how did they do it? How did they just focus streaming on YouTube? Because I feel like I've been, we've been so spoiled over on the Twitch side because they give us so many abilities. Because again, that's what it's made for. Twitch is made for streaming. So when we go to places such as, um, like YouTube, we're, we're thinking, why is UI like this? Why is it this laggy and stuff? Because originally YouTube is not a streaming platform, even though there's so many people streaming on here. Don't go for it. Civilization farm, easy. Favorite thing? Food! <laughs> See, I don't get it. To this day, when I play Stardew Valley, I don't get- I never got what the favorite thing meant. <laughs> I still don't get what it means. To this day, I still don't get it. Here's the fun part, customization. I get to go do so many hairstyles. Um, let me see. 30 seems like a really close one, I would say. Mm, besides 30, probably something like 34. No, never mind, not 34. Mm, it can't be pigtails, although those are cute. That one's pretty cute. Um, oh god, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh my god, it can be the airbender. I'm kidding. Oh, those are cute. I should never explore the other hairstyles. Oh, that's adorable. 58. I like 58. 59 is a very simple one. I think I'll go with 58. I don't want to spend too long on this. Oh, that's funny, but food. I love food. <laughs> they asked my favorite things. I'm like, food. I mean, do you mind me saying it? Go ahead, honestly. I've already played... I played already like 90 plus hours in this game already, and I still never figured it out. So if you want to spoil it, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> Again, this is not my first rodeo playing Stardew Valley, so don't y'all worry if you're going to spoil anything or not. I've already played through year two of Stardew Valley up to year two, so... I'm honestly, I, I'm honestly remember what's going on. Ooh, what's a cute shirt? <laughs> I love playing fashion show. 52 is a nice shirt. Okay, 52. Oh, 58 is really nice as well. 58 has a nice vest. Ooh. Oh, those are cute. Oh, 72 is like a basic like actual farmer outfit. 72. 75 is like red. So that was not too bad. Ooh, what's a nice one? Let me see. There's so many shirts, we're gonna come to the hundreds! <laughs> See, I appreciate- Okay, there's, there's about to like a hundred and something. Okay, what was my favorite one? Sorry. Oh, uh, I really did like that red vest from earlier. Let me see. 58, I did like 58. I don't want a big skirt. The big skirts just make me feel like, mmm. Pants obviously is really nice, but I'm also, I'm also a fan of wearing skirts in games, so like, mmm. I like the skirt. This skirt's really cute. Accessory, beard, beard, mustache, beard, mustache, mustache, beard, earrings. Earrings are eight. Okay, eight, nine. Eight and nine. Eleven is makeup, which I don't wear. Glasses are those. Is that a, is that a necklace? Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, I think it was eight. Yeah, eight. We'll go with eight. Uh, it's for the star drop, a fruit that probably increases your stats. There's text that says it tastes like your favorite thing. So you're gonna be like, this reminds me of food. <laughs> I mean, isn't it what is this? Isn't that correct? Like, if I, if I said my favorite thing was say... Um, like say my favorite thing was say music, right? Would it then say, this taste reminds me of music? 
because that feels a little bit weird. And also, what if you go a little bit awkward and say, my favorite thing is this, and then the star fruit then says, oh, it tastes like this. I would not want my food to taste like that. I would have felt super awkward, like, oh, that's weird. Oh my god, you can choose different breeds of cats. I, maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it was always here, but I swear it wasn't here. <laughs> Robin, hi Robin, what's up, what's up, how you doing? Oh my god, you can choose different breeds of animals. I want the doggy. I want the doggy with a handkerchief because it looks so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> How you doing, Robin? Give me a second. I'm gonna start customizing. I got purple eyes. I got purple hair. It's gonna look gray because I messed up. <laughs> Whoops. That's probably close to civil hair. Yeah. And in pants, uh, I want... Honestly, it'd be really cute if I can match it with the shirt. Never mind, it looks kind of bad. Uh, let's go blue. Honestly, blue like denim. Yeah, it looks good. And then they said they added a new farm called a Meadowland. Meadowland is not the best for growing crops, but it's a chewy blue grass that animals love. You start with two chickens. Oh, okay. So the new land to start valley gives you automatically two animals. That's cool. I think last time I did have a beach farm, but then I realized that was probably a bad idea. Uh, wilderness farm, monster come out, hilltop. Obviously, I started with the standard one because that's all I had back in the time. Ooh, fish smoker. Ooh. See, I want to go in Meadowlands because it's a brand new area, but it's a thing of. I, I don't know about. I don't know about the. About, it's not the best for growing crops. But animals, honestly, animals would be an easy way to grow, to have stuff. I kind of want to go with that one. And obviously, we're going to try it out, so I should probably go with that one. Yeah. Fair enough. My older cousin put woman. Oh, no. Their favorite thing is woman. Oh, boy. This tastes like we don't talk about it any further. We don't talk about it any further. If we talk about it any further, it's going to get kind of weird. Sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to think if this is good for now. I'm like, is that good? Am I good at customizing? Ooh, I think that's good. I think we're good. I think we got my character for now. Yeah! Okay! If I keep staring at it, I'll be here for a while, so might as well. <laughs> Aww! And for my very special granddaughter... I want you to have the sealed envelope. Oh! <laughs> a sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen. Now listen close. There will be come a day when you feel crushed by the burdens of modern society. Move faster! And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. What gift? Now, let Grandpa rest. Go! We all know why Grandpa said he had to go rest. We all know why. Also, look at us looking at Jojo Mart. Also, if you watch carefully, I remember this scene. I've seen so many Easter eggs from it. You got a guy over there. You got a small kid over there. You got that over there. That person got terminated. There's so many rumors that this guy with a cowboy hat is Woody from Toy Story. And I'm like, why would you say that? There's that guy. Then there's us. This is such a terrible place. Like, I know Jojo Mart's like a terrible place. But it's made it even worse because of the cameras. It's so bad. It is so, so bad. <laughs> oh, look, it's a letter from Grandpa. Um, oh, okay, wait. I think I know what I'm putting next time I start a farm. You should start it now. Let's all start a new. New start a valley with the new update. Let's go. Also, I know Grandpa's dying, but I couldn't give Grandpa a nice bed. I know, right? They just gave Grandpa this terrible looking bed, and I'm like, how dare they? Oh, 
Also, give me a second. Let me make sure to talk Discord server as well. We switch it over. Also, mentally sleeping on a table. Listen, he's on his, He's already on the way to death as it is. At least they got him a bed. Uh. Also, I forgot new update releases today. Hi, Elias. Yeah, are you gonna play the new update? I just found that the update happened today, so I'm like, dang! <laughs> I'll be doing well, I'll be doing well. Someone's dead? Yeah, Grandpa! <laughs> Sunder! Hi, Sunder! Hello! I hope you're recovering well, if you guys don't know Sunder. Sunder went to the Aldo concert this past weekend. If you guys know the Japanese singer Aldo, I hope you had fun! And how started? Are you starting to inform with the update? Yes, I am. I am, I am. I just saw it right now, and I thought, you know what? Because I don't know what I'm streaming on YouTube yet. I'm gonna just do some Stardew Valley stuff, see how it goes and stuff, and yeah. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. And Eli said, yeah, I'll be playing the Stardew Valley update this weekend. Sounds like a plan! I know I'm probably gonna be busy this weekend, so I probably was not gonna do it, but... I'm, in, I'm, I'm really excited to show you guys a new update. I, obviously, we're not gonna say too much in the limited time we have together. But at least hopefully we get to see the newish things to a point. Yeah! Um, the cold is pretty much gone, actually. Right, Thunder said you were feeling a little bit sick before you left. Right, 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 right. Um, luckily it got a lot better be right before the concert. That's good. Are you feeling better now after the concert? I hope you're feeling better after as well. And, like, I hope you're getting plenty of rest. Because a lot of energy was used for the concert. So, definitely get some rest up, okay? We're doing some cozy times playing the Stardew Valley update. So, yeah, if you want to chill out with us, you might be welcome to. Dear Civil, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. Also, reading this, if you guys ever, if you guys ever seen those Hallmark movies back when you were a kid for Christmas, it feels like that scenario where like the main character is like over on its work, then they go back to their hometown and they're like, I see the true nature of life. It, that's what it feels like. But also, this feels really real, honestly, reading this. It feels really real. When it, when he says, when Grandpa says, um, he lost sight of what mattered most in life was real connections to other people in nature, I'm like, ooh, that feels a little bit too real. Especially when you start streaming, like, oh, oh. That feels really real. Oh. I've enclosed a deed to this place, my pride and joy, the civilization farm. I spelled civilization wrong, gosh dang it. <laughs> God dang it, I just realized I spelled it wrong. Oh, don't look at it too closely. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It is the perfect place to start your new life. This was the most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you honor the family name, my dear. Good luck, love, Grandpa. Grandpa! Also, give me a second, I'm gonna clean my glasses. The music is so nice here, too. I just got to go to the... Back in February, I got to go to the Stardew Valley concert. So, hearing the music after the concert is really nostalgic, and I loved it. I, I truly did enjoy... Um, I really did enjoy the Stardew Valley concert. Um, I had the best time in a concert, Thunder said. I had some nice stuff to take home as well. I did hurt my foot again the day after though. Thunder! <laughs> Thunder, you're so accident prone. Why you like this? No. <laughs> oh my god, did you roll your ankles? Because that's the worst feeling. That is almost the worst feeling if you rolled your ankles. No! <laughs> not like this, not like this. Piers, if Louis is still around, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Aww. And this is how COVID farming started. Where we escape COVID and go play games like Stardew. <laughs> Honestly, not wrong though. Like back when streaming first was like a niche thing, people started going into it. Uh, a lot of people started with Stardew Valley because we were doing nothing else like nature-y. That or Animal Crossing it was one or the other that was like the big meta back in 2021. I was having a munching on the side and making a muffin. We haven't eaten yet. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. How far was Stardew Valley from where we were? I'm curious. Excuse me, was I on a spaceship? That sounds like a spaceship. Hello, you must be civil. My name's Robin, the local carpenter. 
Man Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you follow me. Sure, why not? Follow a random stranger that I don't know coming out. But you know what? We can trust them. This is civilization farm. <laughs> oh dear gosh. What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? <laughs> sure, it's a little bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Um, I think I chose metal, metal land, which means that the soil is not the best, so you're contradicting your own words. Oh, uh, not streaming for Gigabur. <laughs> My mother and I went sightseeing, and literally after 15 minutes it happened, but I sat down a little bit, pushed through, and had a great second day in Dusseldorf, as well as a lot of cute museums. Oh! Art museums? Aw, oh, man. I'm having a lot of fun, Thunder. Wah! Museums, auto concert, recovering from your sickness. You rolled your ankles, but we don't talk about that. I sounds like I had a lot of fun. And also, what kind of museums did you go to, if I can ask? Ooh, okay. With a little dedication, you'll have this farm cleaned up in no time. Uh, you wanna help me, though? <laughs> you wanna help me? And here we are, your new home! Hey, look! Oh, the new farmer! Hi, Louis! Welcome! I'm Louis, the mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. Uh oh. So, you moving into your grandfather, grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. You mean old and wore down and sad? <laughs> rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Bro! <laughs> How rude! Don't listen to Robin Civil. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. I mean, I was gonna do it anyway. Cause this looks really bad. <laughs> anyway, it must be time for a long journey. You should get some rest. Well, you ought to explore the town a little bit and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. Sounds like a plan. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll just come by during the night to collect it. That's not weird at all. You know, I just realized when he words that. That's not weird. I'll come in the middle of the night to come collect it. That's not weird. Why in the middle of the night specifically? Why not, why not when I'm here? Well, good luck. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Wait, what? That, that chicken crow did not go all the way. <laughs> Also, nails. I think I missed a trash can, but it's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna go see two art museums and a movie museum. Ooh! What kind of movies were showing at the movie museum I'm gonna ask Thunder? It's like Disney stuff? Was it like, um, Warner Brothers? Warner Brothers, Universal, what kind of movie museum? That's cool. I know we have one here as well. I've never seen it in person, but I know we have one here as well. And so Dusseldorf is nice? I wouldn't know, I'm not in the EU, but if Thunder went and liked it, then I assume it's really good. Also, the house decorations go a little bit different? Yes. So when you guys start a new farm and start a valley, you have the option to choose different farms. Depending on which farm you choose, it'll change the interior of your house. So because I chose the metal, the metal land house, or metal land farm, which is the newest updated farm of the game, that's where we're seeing these new different updates. Also, give me a second. I'm gonna go to the options real fast. Mm. I need to edit stuff real fast. If the audio is loud, do let me know because um, they started on Mac. Let me lower it down to match. Full screen, yes. Oh, 1920 by 1080. That's kind of gross. Get it? Let me choose a thing. Uh, there. Okay. No worries, Mafu! Enjoy your boba! Enjoy, enjoy! Why does it look so small? I'm gonna... Nope, okay. Eh. 
The windowed version is so low, but it's fine. Facing is fine. I think the zoom looks okay. Uh. Okay, we should be good. Nice! And if I have to zoom in, I go just do this. Sweet! I got hay! <laughs> you received hay, times 15. Thank you! Mostly old movies, classes like Charlie Chaplin, also a little bit of Disney animation about production and 20th century. Cameras, old techniques, etc. Ooh, okay, okay. Really interesting though. No, it sounds fascinating. Like, genuinely, that sounds fascinating. Um, and it had a, quite a lot of interactive stuff too. That sounds amazing! I'm happy to hear that you have a lot of fun at the interactive movies museum. And then also, we can't go wrong with art theater or art mu museums as well. Art museums as well are always nice people. Uh, that's just a, just a nice day to go hang out and chill at, honestly. So I'm happy to have fun! And now I'm assuming you're back home, so definitely get a lot of rest. I don't know if you have to go back to classes in school anytime soon, but make sure to rest up when you can. You had a really busy weekend. Aww. Especially that 12 hour train, our 12 hour train right there and back. <laughs> Did you manage to read any webtoons and games while you were there, Sunder? Because I know you were talking about installing stuff while you were gone, so I hope you were able to. Oh, also, reminder um, the Steam Spring Sale is going on right now if you guys have not bought anything already. It will, um, it will end in about two days. So if you guys have not gotten any games yet on the Steam Spring Sale, so if you guys choose to, highly recommend you guys go grab some games. Because, yeah, there's some good games on sale. Like some good indie games. Um, I know there's some DLCs as well. So, yeah. Let me just chop this down real fast. Okay, they said it would give me two chickens for free. But I don't know if we get the chickens now or later. Because I don't see them. Because I chose the Meadowland area, so I assume we get some free chickens. Oh, there they are! Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. The chickens are all the way over here. Gotcha. And then there's this blue grass that they can eat, which they really do like. So I'm not going to chop that down, but I'm going to chop down at least this much. Yeah. And I'll get rid of these rocks because they should not be living like this. Fascinating! Okay. So that's how they're studying this area. Uh, sound is working. Thank you, nice. Is it a sound check? Well, it's not just for if sound is nice or working. But if it sounds too loud or quiet, you have to let me know as well, okay? Mm. Um, I did. And for the way back, I bought some mangas here as well. Oh, you have to share what kind of manga you got. Where's, where's that manga drip? Oh, chickens! Chickies! This is Peachy. And this is Papaya. Why the name of the fruit? Can I rename you? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna name this one. This is gonna be... Now, this is gonna be... San, 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 Sanya. And this is gonna be. Oh, oh. This is gonna be. Winnie. <laughs> if you guys know the reference, y'all good. Y'all know. Okay, so let's put the head here, if I remember correctly. No? Is that on a feeder? The hopper is empty. Build a silo and cut grass with your size to refill it. Can I not put it in there? I'm supposed to just put it here. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Nice, you're fed. Uh, our hotel was in Little Tokyo, so I had plenty to choose from. Hey! Did you choose that because you were because it was closer to the auto concert, or did you choose it because you knew you're gonna look around after? Cause that's some pure coincidence. Um, I have a friend who lives in an unincorporated hamlet in upstate New York, and she says it exactly like Stardew, in a good way or a bad way, <laughs> because if they're talking about crusty, then oh dear. Um, and I have Taiyaki for the first time, and I love that I want more. Oh, Taiyaki the fish bread, right? Oh my god, you're like Mikey from Tokyo Avengers. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Taiyaki's really good. I've had it before from this ice cream place I, uh, that's nearby me. And it's super delicious. Oh, I'm happy you enjoyed it, Thunder. You should make it then in that case. You should make it. Uh, what? You already have a chicken house? That's a new update, kid. Remember? I sent the update earlier. A new update! This is a new form called Metal Land, where it starts you with an animal! Mm -hmm. I, again, if you guys want to read the update that came out for Stardew Valley, do check it out on the website or check it out on Twitter from Concerned Ape, and they give you all the information that's going on as an update, like new events, new dialogue and stuff. It's very new, so if you guys haven't read up on that yet, please do. That way you guys can see what's new on here. And also that way I can't ask, I can that way I can't that way I don't have to ask all the questions that are gonna be asked, because I don't know what's going on in the new update as well, so it really does help out. Uh, and the manga's called Ripper. The first time I've heard about it, I really like the first volume. I don't think I've heard about Ripper. That one sounds interesting. I'll have to take a check on that later when I can, because it sounds interesting. Is it Shonen? Hmm. 
It better not be a shonen jump one because I feel like we have a lot of those as it is. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, I'm feeling exhausted. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I didn't realize I was getting late. Can I make a chest actually real fast? Okay, good. I'm gonna make a chest real fast because um we'll have to start storing stuff later. Let's go to bed. <laughs> I just realized I'm about to die. Actually, uh I'm gonna sell some stuff. We're starting at 500, but I know we can start faster. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm gonna sell everything. Just so I get some income. There you go. Uh, we looked at two hotels, we're booking, and my mother let me choose them because it's a coincidence that we're there. The best coincidence, it was fairly close to the concert hall, 10 15 minutes per taxi. Hey! Nice coincidence. Nice, nice. Uh. <laughs> That's so. I mean, it's a coincidence. But maybe they also planned it as well. Maybe they also planned it to be on there because it makes sense. Little Tokyo, Auto, it kind of makes sense. Which makes understanding sense. I just be so started because you make me want to play. You should! Thunder for the new update! For 1.6, you should, you should. Um, okay, no more questions. No, you can still ask questions. But obviously, like, is it anything, like, anything revolving 1.6? I cannot answer. Like, you, you're more going to ask, but again, I cannot answer anything that's like, Oh, like, say, well, why is that thing doing that one thing? It's like, I don't know. Maybe it's from 1.6. <laughs> but again, that's like the, the general questions. Again, that's not like me saying don't ask any questions anymore. Again, it's just like, again, there's just some questions that I can't answer. You're more than going to ask. I just won't be able to answer if you know what I mean. I just won't be able to answer. Let's go to bed. I don't know why. It's not letting me go to bed. Let me sleep. I mean, to be fair, I should have pressed it first. So that's my... Um, okay, Ripper's basically Polk apocalyptic. Almost all humans died. One weird kid alone in the world with strange powers and everything beyond this world be spoilers so not to be included. Sounds like a normal anime experience to me. <laughs> it sounds like a normal anime to me, our manga. Also, I took some Ramade home with it, so I'm a happy crow. Ramade! So wait, what did you buy me in from Little Tokyo that I got asunder? You bought Ramade, you bought a manga. Did you bring some Taiyakis with you out of curiosity? I really doubt it because Taiki gets soggy really fast. What did you get? Also, give me a second. I'm going to grab some real fast. Right after I got home, didn't even that soggy, surprisingly. Oh! Not even after a 12 hour trip? Dang! I mean, okay, theoretically, I haven't done this yet on my end because I don't eat too much dayaki. But I was gonna assume that maybe you're able to toast it up at home. I could be wrong though. Hello, dear! I just got back from a fishing trip, Willia said. You need to come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you. But you don't know me, so how does that work? Also, this is gonna make it a little bit difficult because we don't start a crop. So, we're gonna have to just, um... We're gonna have to just focus reliably on our chickens. So in that case, because I won't be able to pay attention to the chickens too much, I'm gonna open up this door to let them out and eat this bluegrass. Are you still here? Okay, you're still here, okay. I'm gonna let them feast. Why don't I gonna go feast? I'm gonna go to the main town and go talk to everyone. Cause I have not talked to anybody in a hot second. I met them too, harvest an egg. Visit the beach south of town before here. Okay. What do we see? Oh, I need to grab all these um, all these uh things over here. I need them. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I must grab what I can. Um, when starting new started Valley Farm, it tend to focus on bonding with the other villagers first. What about you guys? Uh, for people in the chat, if you guys want to answer that question as well, you're more than welcome to. For me, I remember when I first started my Stardew Valley playthrough, I started with talking to people first. Yes. I started bonding with people first. Oh, okay, interesting. I guess these are the new events. Bookseller, the egg festival is, is, is the same one. There's something over here from the 15th to 17th, so that's new. So, 
book sale is a new event. I have not seen that before. It's, it might be a merchant is what I'm assuming. It might be a merchant. Interesting, interesting. A flounder? I will just accept that quest. And then I'm gonna go run to the beach real fast. Ooh. I don't know if they change anything UI-wise and design-wise. It looks pretty much the same to me in my opinion. But it's not that bad. It's not too bad so far. It's, it's pretty much typical Stardew Valley. Um, I brought back some typical Japanese stationery. I just want to look like a high school admin protagonist when studying. Not kitty though, right? <laughs> Snacks, some more mangoes, and tiny stuff, and I'll see auto merge. Merch haul, let's go! I'm having a lot of fun. You got so much merch too. Wow! Hopefully your wallet doesn't hurt as well. That's the main thing. <laughs> Hopefully your wallet doesn't hurt. Um, Thunder Town is the first start on mining, cleaning up the farm space for material. Hashtag introvert, even in single game, in single player games. Honestly, that's totally fine. <laughs> that is totally fine. And you want to focus solely on getting your stuff done because, again, you're just, you're there mostly to be a farmer. Why socialize, right? Right? <laughs> Ahoy there, miss. Heard it was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Oh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out in the salty sea. It was a big hole. I saw a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Now, how much was the new rod is the question. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe I'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Wow! He's trying to find ways to make me use my money on his shop, that's why. <laughs> He's trying to be nice and after. Actually, no, you want to buy something from my shop, you know, in case you need it. Well, I feel better about myself. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fishes. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come if you need any supplies. Thank you. I'll also buy anything you catch. I can't do the voice anymore, my throat would hurt. <laughs> if it smells, it sells. Aha, that's what my old pappy used to say anyway. What a nice pappy. And now we look into the sea. Wondering what I'm looking at. <laughs> well, I'm start fishing. I gotta do the stuff I hate now before I, before I have to do it later. Hate is a strong word, by the way, but I really did not like the fishing in Stardew Valley. It was not my favorite activity. <laughs> so I might as well get it over with. Uh, plus, oh please, the VIP pin from Aldo is so gorgeous, like, can I even process it? Ah, it looks so good, honestly. The pin from Aldo looks really good. And it, I was so jealous, I'm like, bruh. If only I got tickets to Aldo. And the VIP as well, man, that's living the dream. I'm just happy you had fun, like, for real. I'm happy you really, you had that really good experience for it. And then you got that Taylor Swift concert later as well. So exciting, so exciting. Oh, no, you don't. <clears throat> I got a herring. Nice. My wallet hurts a little bit, but honestly, worth every last cent. I had the best time ever. You gotta... If your wallet hurts, at least, at least, at least you're happy. But just remember that the wallet has to take a break, too, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes the wallet needs to recover. Oh, dang, I missed it. It all makes, it's all made, makes sense, it made me really happy, which especially after doing a pretty crappy time and having recently mentally, it's nice. It definitely gives you a break because you've been going through a lot, you said, for a couple of months, a couple of weeks. And just taking your mind off it by replacing it with happy memories, it really is nice. Not a driftwood. Lame. Oh, wait, I can't fish anymore. I have no space. I was like, wait, I can't do anymore. I have no space, unfortunately. RIP. I can't pick anything up. RIP. I, I love fishing. I even got the lava eel once. I can't win fishing, as you can tell. Unless I have a better fishing rod, it's gonna kind of suck. <laughs> it's gonna kind of definitely basically suck. I love fishing as well. It's kind of relaxing. Mm -mm. I love mining, honestly. I like the mining part a little bit more, low-key. It's, for me, the definition of relaxing is going to the mines and just cupping stuff down. 
Really? The first person I see in this game is Haley? Oh, you're the new farmer girl, whatever, aren't you? Yes. Oh, oh, I'm Haley. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might should be pretty. Actually, never mind. <laughs> wow! She called me ugly! She called me ugly! What's wrong with my clothes? Is it an emergency? No, I'm just gonna sneak back to your back area and say hi. Hello. Oh, aren't you the new one I just moved in? I'm Maru. Been looking forward to meeting you. Hi, Maru. You know, in a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Aww. Hi, Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I have performed regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you find your own work equally rewarding in time. It's a sample jar. Right now, put your fingers in there. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I'm really glad I told myself at the beginning of the year I want to experience stuff this year. You want to experience playing games with us, right? Like Lisa? Yeah! So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Not that bad. I do all my grocery shopping here. Yes, you do. Oh, that's right. There's someone new is moving on to the old farm. Abigail! It's kind of a shame, really. I've always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, I'll, listen. Listen, I need to live somewhere. Hey, it's Miss Silva, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, the owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop's the place to go. I also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life to the local economy. Can I buy the backpack already? Just out of curiosity, how much is it? Two thousand. Ugh. It would be nice if we can get the upgrade today. That'd be really nice. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. Wow! But that's okay. I'm Jody. Jody, I don't know how to feel. Why is everybody judging me? It's a quiet little town, Pelican Town. So it's always very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around can really change things. I feel so much better about this. Um, don't worry, the wallet is fine. When I said it hurts, it just made my buzzer really set for myself. But even little spendings like this don't seriously disadvantage me. Yeah, but still, your wallet. <laughs> even little spendings, though. Even a wallet would be like, Oh, I got a little prick on my side. And I didn't know it. Oh, I'm dissolved. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm just like that wallet. He didn't have a break during the time. Well, no BFF status. I I actually like people more than Haley, honestly. Haley's cute, but I prefer other people like again like Abigail. Abigail's really sweet. Um, other ones which I don't remember the names of because I only know Abigail. But yeah. <laughs> ah, Mary Lou, to me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. Marnie sells livestock and animal care products at their ranch. I should swing by sometimes. Sounds like a plan. Hello, you must be civil to new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs a general store here, and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's a pale woman with purple hair. Honestly, Caroline looks so young, even to now. Caroline looks so young. I'm like, she looks like the same age as Abigail. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in an evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Thank you, Emily. I don't know if you introduced yourself, but hello. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. My arms are strong, but my legs need work. <laughs> this, this is the girl, this is the women's workout. They usually meet up and they're working out. Look at that. Look at them working out. Oh. Oh, Epic already left. Dang it. I wonder if she's gonna go meet Alex and them. If not, I'll keep probably meet them later. Hello! Hi, George. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way, and I buzz off. What? I just want to be nice to you. Damn, is that Alex? <laughs> Can't say hi to Alex because he doesn't want to meet me. So I see how it is. I'll just go this way, I guess, because I can't do anything. Wah. Hey, it's this guy. I love the saloon. The saloon is such a nice place. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star, Do Star Drop Saloon. Please relax and enjoy yourself. Aw, thank you, Gus. Gus is really cool. I love the music in the saloon. It's such a nice area. Honestly, I like the music in general in the game. I love the music in general. It's just supposed to hold me. And until this day, I'm so shocked that Concerned Ape did all the music himself. It's so cool. Hi, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hi, Sam. Bye, Sam. Sam's one of the cool characters too, but I, I just can't with the hair. <laughs> I just can't with the hair, unfortunately. Sam's cool, but I'm just like, oh, the hair. Also, last bit about the concert. Oh, don't worry. If you want to talk about the 
concert in Mono. Welcome to. I'm very excited to hear about it since I'm not going. <laughs> Uh, the people there were so nice. The same crowd usually meet at conventions, even going alone, I felt safe the entire night. I'm glad to hear that. I'm happy to hear that during the concert you felt safe, and that people were very nice about that. That volume were nice to let you go in the front, so that way you can go see the concert better, but... Can't place them all. <laughs> but I'm happy you had fun. I think that's a nice thing. Cause yeah, I think you were going alone, so it's good to have the friends. Oh, there's everyone! Oh, yeah, Penny! Penny's really sweet as well. I'm a stranger! My name's Vincent! Mama said not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. That's not good advice. Oh, uh, uh, hi! Sorry, uh... The Oz! Thank you so much for the subscription on YouTube! Welcome, welcome! How you doing? Welcome on in! My name is Silver T. Samantha, resident alchemist of civilization. It's wonderful to meet you. Also, this gives me time to adjust the screen on, on the game. So give me a second while I adjust this real fast. But thanks so much for the subscription! Thank you, thank you! Do I say follow? Is that how it works? Do I say follow? <laughs> thank you, thank you! Oh, uh, no, a little bit less. Okay. Let me do this. Really? Really? Game? Trying to be nice here? I don't like seeing the black bar. That's why I'm like, hmm. Oh, well, we'll have to deal with the black bar for a little bit. It's fine. But thank you, Dios. Thank you, thank you. If you want just look and chill as well to the stream, you're more than welcome to. Hi! Hi, Jazz! Do you want to say anything more? Well, rip. <laughs> oh, hello! I'm Penny. Nice to meet you, Penny. Is there anything else you want to say? Or is that it? <laughs> we gotta meet everyone. Hello there! Welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Oh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off of the entire collection. Who was it? <laughs> Who ran off with our stuff? Well, your stuff. I'm, I'm not responsible because I just got here. Uh, we don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. They find any artifacts and minerals out there, would you let me know? Of course! I don't know if that counted as a talk yet, so I'm gonna move over here. Or did it? The me talking to Gunther, does this count? Because Keiko did it aside. Um, yeah, when I asked my friend group back in December, baby, they want to come along, I didn't get a response. Oh. Uh... That's the hard thing, when you want to go hang out with friends, but your friends are too busy or don't want to go, and I'm like, eh. At least you still have fun in a way, though. Uh, subscribe? I guess subscribe. I mean, subscribe is like follow, per se, so either or still counts. Welcome on in, Dior's. But I'm very glad I went anyway, and didn't even allow myself to consider giving up on getting tickets. Then I was gonna have to go alone. Yeah, you don't, don't sacrifice your fun. Just because people were not able to go with you. I know, like, I'm a victim of that because I always am like, Oh, I want to go with a friend. But sometimes if your friends don't go, but you still want to go, just don't go, honestly, because you can still have fun some awesome way. Also, give me a second. stuff right now, but I don't have enough for it. Hmm. Do I need to go reintroduce myself to the fisher, by the way? Even though I got a fishing rod from him? Rip. Hello! I'm just gonna sneak into the back. Ah! Oh, hi there! It's nice to see young folks moving in the valley. It's not very common these days. Yep, I had to go talk to him. <sighs> uh, my friend group don't really share many interests with me. Mm, I think I remember we talked about that before. There were, you know, you guys do share some interests that are similar, but unfortunately, you don't share the ones that you... Not, not in a mean way. It's the ones that you want to enjoy with others, unfortunately, and it's hard. So it makes it really difficult to go hang out and stuff, which is, which is not fair. If I was there, Sunder, I would go to the auto cars 
messing with you. Alex, Alex, Alex! Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Hi, Pam. Don't be a jerk, we'll get along fine. Thanks, Pam. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? They're gonna get along great. My name's Alex. Hi, Alex. I heard so insane that you got your first chicken the other day. Man, I wish Grandma had chicken. I ate a dozen raw eggs for breakfast each morning. Oh, God. If I didn't mean he's gonna eat the chicken, I'm like, don't eat the chicken. Don't eat the chicken. They're my livestock and they're my babies. Don't eat the chicken, even though I love eating chicken. <laughs> Sorry, Simba, but I'm a bad person. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Like, do you mean bad? Like, bad as in, like, when people say, like, they're cool? I mean, like, genuinely a bad person, which I doubt you're gonna say, but I'm just like, huh? Oh, it's this guy! I wanna guess his name is Phil? Nope, sorry. <laughs> Demetrius. I was like, Phil? Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thank you for introducing yourself. Thank you for being open and introducing yourself as well. Excuse me. I need to figure out where to go next. Now, if only I could go meet Sebastian! But then that guy's cooped up in his room. <laughs> Sebastian's like the hardest character to quote unquote romance and hang out with because the guy just never leaves his basement. There's Madu. Okay. How many people have we met so far? Let me see. Whoops. Uh, delivery to Lewis, getting started, harvest an egg, 23 out of 28. Okay, we're almost there. I've met 23 out of the 28 residents. So if I meet with the guy up here, that should be 24. And then 28. How many is 28? Sebastian 25. A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Why is Linus so sad? <laughs> I feel so bad for Linus because he's not like, and I'm like, oh, wow. Uh. Oh, right. There's this going on right now. Right, right, right. Mostly it's just some games I download for the guys in my group, but and by now almost all enjoy Mario Kart. Oh, Sebastian, grab him. <laughs> oh, he just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could have lived, you just plug in town? Well, I get to meet somebody like you. I don't know. I get to meet someone like you, so that's nice. <laughs> uh, but also, mostly it's just some games I download for the guys in my group, and by now, almost all enjoy Mario Kart. Usually, I'm the one that tries to get into their interests. It's hard because you want to get into their interests, yes. But also, you don't want to sacrifice your own interests as well. Not saying that you are. But it's hard to get into their interest if you don't like it, but you're doing it because that way it's living the bottomless, if you know what I mean, which obviously you're not doing. But it would suck if you're doing it because, like, it's a way to, like, you know, have something in common, which would suck. Meh. Do you still like what you like in the end? Even if you like their interest, if it's not something that you're passionate about, but you're okay with, it's like, that's fine. But it's not something you feel like, oh, like, I'm as passionate as them. You don't have to, like, put pressure on there because people like their own things. Hmm. Okay, I'm putting stuff away. I need to put stuff away. Uh, I'll put all greens in this area for now. Yeah. And then move these over here. I could probably sell the herring for now. Yes, a raw fish into there. Yes. Now, when does Lewis come in? <laughs> nice. Uh, Linus is always the first villager I bond with. He needs some company. Aww. Linus does. I think for the last play I did, I tried to get along with George. Because George is, like, mean at first. But George is, like, so sweet. And it's like, oh, He just wants what's best. Also, give me a second, go stretch. <sighs> I haven't gotten a stretch in a hot second. So, thank you. Nice. Oh, it's raining. Sweet! I have no crops! <laughs> it's a terrible experience! No crops. I gotta close that gate real fast. Hi, chickies! You already grew to eggs? Oh? I literally just had you guys for two days. You guys already grew? What the frick? Well, there we go. Okay, so we got the egg. Done! I got some gold out of that. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. Build a silo. Well, I know what I gotta do now. I need to go buy some seeds from Pierre. Uh, I just practice my interests alone, Thunder said. At least some online people enjoy the music or enjoy the stuff I like sometimes, like Aldo's music. Hey, Aldo! <laughs> I also enjoy Aldo. 
Then we can always talk about Aldo and Aaron. Mm. And anime. Hey. I haven't romanced any villagers, was never interested in any of them. Understandable, honestly. Understandable. I was okay. Was like Sebastian because again I was young. And Sebastian was probably the cooler one of everybody else. I did also like Sam and Alex as well. But Sebastian got the heart in the end because again he was just built different. I don't know if I want to do a same run for this one or just keep it neutral this time. But we'll see, we'll see. I also gave George plenty of leaks on Spring. <laughs> he likes leaks, so you might as well. It bo it bonds him. I keep finding cool stuff in my backpack is full. Does it sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. A size 24 backpack is not affordable, theoretically. Also, I could probably sell... Sorry. I could probably sell my eggs to Pierre because he did say he would buy animal products. So I could just sell to him. I don't know if it's worth more than just putting him in the box, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I appreciate George. Now everyone's indoors. Who have I not talked to yet? Oh, okay. Here's who I haven't talked to yet. Okay, her, him, her, him. Okay. So I just need four more people. Sean, the one girl, Alice's grandma, and then the wizard. Ah, oh, dang, I gotta wait out the house for 20 minutes. <laughs> no! It's gonna look weird because I'm waiting outside the house. But it's the only way because I can't just go run around because it's gonna take too long. But yeah, I love all those music as well. I didn't know what I like about the internet, especially being on Twitch for the past couple of years. Because I mentioned it before, if it weren't for me streaming and being on Twitch, I wouldn't have made people that also like anime, that like the animes that I, pull, that I watch, mangas, the games I played. It's honestly a really nice experience. You're going to meet cool people. Hi, Alex. Well, hello. I love your little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Evelyn! Evelyn! What the frick? Hey, it's a good day to get some catching in. If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. What's that supposed to mean? What the frick? What the frick, Alex? I feel like the only right answer in order to bond with Alex is, um... Is that he's gonna choose the more dainty females. So I feel like the answer I have to choose is, Oh, I'm fine just watching it from a distance. Or I want to play catch with you. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I feel like in an actual terms, I would choose the last option. Because what the frick? Just because I'm a girl... I can't play with you. Is that how it works? Because that's not nice. That's not nice. I don't know. I don't like that one. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I forgot how, how sexist Alex was a little bit. Kind of forgot about that. Um, Should I just be angry? I'm going to be angry. You know what, YOLO? Uh, never mind. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, what'd you want to say? Ah, uh, this is my grandson. Have I told you that already? Yeah, and he was being sexist, saying I can't play catch with him. He said I can't play catch. Oh, there's Sean. Hello! No, I don't have time to chat with you. Yes, you do. You will chat with me, me whether you like it or not. Um. Wait, one more person? Well, I mean, technically it's her, but then also the wizard is question mark well as well. That's what I'm wondering. Is it a question mark? I'll probably just go for the girl. I think the girl might make more sense. Boop. Um, what the heck? I'll take this ball and push it where the sun don't shine. In the game, Alex is very sexist, if you guys don't know. He, he's always just like, oh, girls can't do this and girls can't do that. Because that didn't even tell me grew up on. Which I get it. But also, it's just, uh, Alex. There's a reason why I didn't like him in the beginning of the game. Because he said stuff like that and I didn't enjoy it. Did I pass by the girl's house yet, out of curiosity? I don't know if I passed it yet. But I didn't see it. Did I pass it? I think I did. I don't see it. Also, I wish the map was a little bit better. Yeah, it's back there. Leia. That's her name, Leia. But I can't enter Leia unless I bond with her. That's the only hard thing. So how am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to enter when... I'm not allowed. Unless I'm allowed now. Let me see. Let me in! Never mind! How am I supposed to bond with you if I can't hang out with you? That's my thing. 
They're like, oh, you have to go talk to Leia to complete a quest. I would if she let me in. Because <laughs> it's raining right now, so what am I supposed to do? There's Lewis. Hi, Lewis. Hi, Lewis. <sighs> okay, let's go to Pierre's for now. I need to go sell stuff. Ooh, new quest. Can someone bring me cave carrots? I would love to. Oh, the clothes on Wednesday, it's rips. I will see times like these. The best thing to do during a raining day is going to the mine, and then just going and um going and doing some mining on the floors because you don't have to worry about your crops and stuff. But it's the thing where we're just starting in the game where unfortunately I don't have that option. I just gotta focus on doing other things. And in that case, I'm just gonna sell these. Okay. Start cutting some stuff up. I need to make a silo anyway, so I might as well chop up some trees and stuff. As much as I want to do crops, I don't- I have not bought any seeds. Which is unfortunate. Maybe while we're cutting up stuff, I can buy some seeds. That will be nice. Uh, let me in! Okay. If we can get some mixed seeds, I can plant those. It'll be randomized. Those are nice. I'll just chop around in the meantime. Oh! Uh, sorry. Uh, Sleepy Ash, thank you much for the subscription. Welcome, welcome. You're not one of our civilians in civilization. If you like playing Stardew as well, hope you enjoy playing the 1.6. Welcome and welcome in. It's good to meet you. I appreciate the subscriptions on YouTube. Thank you so much. Fun goal. If you guys, if we get to 500 subscribers on YouTube, uh, I've been told to play League. So, <laughs> if you guys want to see someone playing League, 500 subscribers. Next, you know what? Everyone will follow. <laughs> no. Oh, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Make sure everyone to welcome on in. Sleepy Ash. Hello. Yeah, welcome on in, Ash. Nice to meet you. Hello. By any chance, do you, do you like playing Stardew Valley? I assume that's how you found the, found the stream. If not, then I don't know. I don't know how you found the stream, but welcome on in. Hello. Oh, yeah, you didn't know, Sunder? I made a bet with uh, my friend is Benches over on Twitch. I made a bet with them saying that if I got 500 subscribers on YouTube, organically, not your bots, um, then I will play League with them. <laughs> and yes, I will try to find a way to stream it on both sides because I bet everybody wants to see Simple playing League. Ugh. I have not played League in about three, four years. So I all think it can be very amusing. I'd rather play Star Rail. <laughs> as much as I want to play Apex, uh... I would love to play Apex, but I don't know if you guys heard the rumors what's going on with Apex right now. We can't play it in the meantime, so unfortunate. What is that sound? Don't like that sound. Um, huh? I haven't- I have not played League, period. So what I'm hearing is Thunder, that you're gonna play with us when I play League, right? Right? That's what we're doing, right? Totally. Thunder, you're gonna join us, right? Right? Yeah! Also, I gotta be careful, I'm getting exhausted. Uh, I wanna go back to get some rest. Thunder, you don't wanna play Lisa Company, right? So if you don't wanna play Lisa Company, you totally wanna play... You totally wanna play, um, League, right? You gotta choose either Lisa Company or League. <laughs> one or the other. Oh, sweet. Level 1 foraging. I got axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. Oh, perfect. New crafting recipe is wild seeds for spring. And we got some field snacks. Delicious. Sleepy Ash said, I have to say I haven't. I just got here randomly. Aww. Well, I appreciate when you're giving my channel a chance on YouTube. I don't really stream on YouTube too often. I just started this year. But I really appreciate how you do stay here. I'll probably mess around and play like some games that I don't play on, on Twitch on this side. So you might see some puzzle games, JRPGs, maybe a bit of Stardew. So we're going to see a lot of options. I'll have to see you around. Um, absolutely. Wait, he wants you to be as miserable as him? Don't play League? Him? <laughs> I'm, I'm her. Excuse me. I'm a her. Thunder is them. Remember pronouns, everybody? Pronouns. 
Uh, absolutely not. You have to choose. You gotta choose. Choose League or Lisa. I won't. I won't. I won't let you not play one or the other. You gotta play one either way, Sunder. I will. I want to play with you games. And we'll find a way. We'll find a way to play games together. I'll make it happen. Um, I can't make a silo just yet, unfortunately. Ooh, but I could make seeds right now, actually. Maybe, theoretically. Maybe. Not. No, unfortunately. <laughs> uh huh, I could have made some seeds, but I'm short some ingredients, unfortunately. Uh, as wait, when the point comes to leak and I'm gone, maybe I'll join a monastery or something, I'll just be forever? Really? You really don't like leak, kid? Not even Vinny and Sana would want to play? Wow, wow. I already have to hide that I play Genshin. Wait, I already have to hide that I play Genshin. I don't think my image can take League on top of that. Why do you have to hide you play Genshin? There's nothing to be ashamed about. Excuse me. I used to play Genshin. Wow. Why do you gotta hide? Can I access the mines yet, I wonder? I get all these quests, but I haven't done them yet. Um, also, no worries, Ash. No worries, no worries. I just like to make sure because there's some people in the chat that um, have a way to get deferred by. So I was going to make sure about pronouns. Again, I go by she, her. Um, if you guys have any pronouns you guys go by specifically, please do let us know because we would not want to mispronounce, mispronounce people in the chat. Misidentify. So I was just going to check and see. It's just consideration. But you're all good. I'll do just Lisa then. Yay! You hear that, guys? So I'm just gonna play Lisa. I'm gonna set up a Lisa collab then in the future. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Lisa, 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 Lisa. You cannot say, you cannot take back your word. You said Lisa. You said Lisa. You said Lisa. We can play games. There's more games than just that. We can't play Apex though, because Apex is currently on that weird hacking thing right now. So I can't do, I can't do Apex. Fortnite as well is under the same thing as well. And then Fortnite, Dead by Daylight. Everything that's under that area, we can't play at the moment because of the hacking situation. The unfortunate. Ah, oh, you're locked again. Uh yeah, Lisa's much better than Thunder, especially with mod. But I wanna wait to I wanna wait to do mods with Thunder because Thunder and I have yet to get um have yet to get um Q. What do you call it? Uh, quota. We haven't reached quota yet. <laughs> we can't do mods to reach quota. And then we can add a mod. Cause I don't want their first experience to like, be fully modded without knowing what they're doing first cause they'll overwhelm them. So I want to start with vanilla first. Cause that's how, that's how I feel like it should start. Oh, gotta go back to Pierce. Uh, hearing about classmate while we're still in high school, talk down in Genshin. Plus, how many people knew I played Genshin is the ones that accidentally saw me playing during breaks. What's wrong with Genshin? No, I'm curious. No, I'm curious. What do you mean by talk down in Genshin? Was it because they called it a weave game? Because how can I talk down in Genshin? It's not like your usual FPS games. Okay, sure. But it's still unique in its own way, in my opinion. I think it's still unique in its own way. I'm gonna buy the seed! Because I have not played anything. Wait. Okay. Ooh, running out of coins. Love that. Yo, we're playing Lethal Company? Not right now. I'm trying to schedule one with Thunder because Thunder said they'd rather play Lisa than League. And I'm like, hey, yo, bet. Because <laughs> I remember back on Twitch, them was like, I will not play Lisa. And now I'm like, hey, but you said you want to play Le Lisa over League, so you can't take your word back. <laughs> can't take your words back. Everybody in chat is a, is a witness. You guys saw that? Okay, I'm going to start planning these. Two, three. One, three, okay. Whoops! I dream by dream. Okay, so that's a dream by dream. I'm gonna water him. Nice! That's a lot smoother. Uh, today's the four, so I could probably plant the other one if I wanted to. Whoops! So, one, two, three, two, three, 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 three. Okay. They're gonna be a little bit further away from each other just to give some distance. Oh! Did I just trap myself inside my crops? Oh! Frick! Let me out. 
Let me out. Let me out. Are you serious? Oh, that's so late. Oh, I'm short one. Oh, that's lame. Oh, that's so lame. You got to trap yourself within your crops. Oh, that's lame. Oh, somebody salty. It's me. <laughs> Are you serious? You can trap yourself within the crops. I've never had that happen. Oh. Oh, actually horrendous. Can I pet? Oh, did I already pet them today? I think I already pet them today. Okay. Um. Sunday, you just gotta be confident, man. No more bad and I. You don't make it weird. I did Twitter folks who have to look to be mad and hate somebody. Honestly, we don't talk about Twitter drama. There's so much Twitter drama going right now in the area. Especially the one that's going on right now regarding that one streamer, which I won't disclose on stream because there's no point. What is the point of giving somebody attention that they don't deserve? But Twitter drama is just ugh, also horrendous. I cannot with that. I always try to, whenever I say Twitter drama, I'm like, okay, I'm going back to Stardew because I cannot deal with it. I got Ultimate Chicken Horse. I haven't played that yet. Oh, Ultimate Chicken Horse. I have that game as well. We could play that if we choose to. If we don't want to be us with the game, we can buy them as well. Yeah. And yeah, I just wanted a peaceful last couple of months so I didn't have to interact with those classmates anymore. True. There's no point in like being open about it. They're just gonna mess around with you with it. And if you're gonna leave them, if, you, if you're gonna leave them, it's like, might as well. Because if it was a cringe anime game, you know? I don't know. I don't know. When people say it's a cringe anime game, it's like, Genshin came out, what, 2012, 14? There have been prior cringy anime games, quote unquote, for the past as well. So, they're just saying that because they're jealous of how good of a game it is. Haha! -ha. They're just jealous, man. They're just jealous. Um, I guess, have you played Honkai Star Rail? Are you asking me or Sunder? Because I definitely have. I definitely played Honkai Star Rail. Thunder, I think they started it. I think. I want to say Thunder. I remember we talked about this. You started it, but you didn't really play it, if I remember correctly. But I definitely play Honkai Star Rail. I'm currently grinding up my Himiko and my Genuine right now. And I'm currently grinding events right now to get Paymo Jams. Yeah! I'm getting set up and ready for when Adventuring is coming out. So that's very good. I think Adventuring is coming out in eight more days. I could be wrong for the banner. So if you guys have not gotten your event, if you guys have not gotten your sparkle yet, if you guys have not gotten your genuine yet, now is the time for us. They're gonna be gone. <laughs> Ooh, a book! I love getting books when alive from the ground. Oh, I want to go fishing, but I really am short on this item space. So I think I, what I really gotta focus on right now is selling. Oh, wait, I can use the mixed seeds that one plot I messed up on. That's a good idea. Oh, inventory full. Um, also, yeah, that was an oopsie doopsie. This is just like the final fight in Spider Man 3. I don't know what that means. And also, I've not watched the Spider Man movie past Tobey Maguire, so I can't say. <laughs> also, no spoilers. Um, I don't have anyone. I don't have anyone for Lisa Company anymore. My friends got scared three times to get played anymore. Rip. I have people, I just haven't invited them because I think people are getting tired of playing Little Company right now. Which I get because it was like a huge meta of streaming where everyone just played Little Company every single day. So now it's like getting kind of dead. Now it's Heck Divers. So Heck Divers is now becoming a more popular thing. And I get it. I do get it. I just won't be playing it on my end because I don't want to invest in a game that I'm not interested in. Not saying I'm not interested in the other games I bought, but Heck Divers, I'm good on. Divers 2, I'm like eh about. And I'm like very mixed about. Okay, I need to sell... Do I want to sell? Do I want to sell? I, I kind of want to make another chest, actually. I'm going to make another chest. I'm going to start distributing and having my stuff here for now. One area is for foraging, one area is for fishing, and one is for minerals and rocks. Yes. I want to sort out my stuff now while I still can. Because it's going to get very chaotic later. Genji came out in September 28th, 2020. Really? It was that old? I swear Genji came out way later than that. No way. I, I, like, earlier than that. It feels like so long ago. It feels like so long ago, but it was only 2020? During COVID? You know what? That's funny. It came out the exact time that COVID happened. <laughs> when COVID happened, people stayed inside to play Genshin. Which I get. I played a lot of Hokkaido Star Wars for a while, but then paused it. I'm slowly getting back to it every few weeks. That's fair. That's fair, honestly. 
Because again, like, there's a lot of content. It's still really behind on content. So if you want to wait for it to catch up, that's what I did. Because I remember I had to wait a couple of months just for the lol food update. I had to wait for Pentacle to come out. And that took a good while. The Pentacle and the update was so big. It took so long and I'm like, oh, there it is. And I think I just finished Pentacone like a couple of weeks ago. And it took me a while because I was so busy playing Star Rail. I'm playing other stuff as well, so whoopsie. I need to make that chest. Quickly make the chest. And then make some room. Okay, grab these stuff. Uh, put that in here, okay. Anything that is that goes over here, okay. It does feel like it was a long time ago. But but it makes, it feels weird because time flew really fast. Because what, it's been almost a couple of years since Genji came out. And then Star Wars about to celebrate its one year anniversary, which I'm still sad about by the way. Yeah, Star Wars had this really cool event in real life that was based on a building that's in Pentacone. And then the thing is that they sold way too many tickets, and then people had to get the tickets refunded. And I had a friend of mine that got the ticket refunded for the Pentacone event for Star Wars. I'm like, oh, that sucks. Their ticket got refunded. I was like, that's a ripperoni. Feels bad, man. Feels bad for them. Four G items go here and wood. Uh, stone will go in a separate chest. Oh, let me get a third chest for that actually. Uh, grab the wood. Make a chest. Put the chest over here. This is gonna be for our minerals and stuff when we go mining. So I'll go over here. Forging will go over here and wood. And then that is a mineral clay technically. So that's fine. Nice. Oh, uh, I thought Kenji came up with 2020. Apparently not. <laughs> apparently with apparently not. Uh, Sleepy Ash said, I'm planning on getting Acheron. Ooh, Acheron. That's a good one. And Firefly. Firefly! <laughs> Firefly! Give me a second. I got my headphones. Tangled, which is even better. Okay, all good. Um, I'm planning on getting Agron and Firefly, Ash said. Also, I wouldn't really say Genjin is good, especially how bad Hongai Starbucks is making it looking. I mean, they're good in both ways because there's still people who. It is, it's just a preference thing. There's people who like Genshin but don't like Star Rail. There's people who like Star Rail but don't like Genshin. There's people who don't like either, and there's people who like both. It depends on preference, honestly, because I know people who like one or the other. But again, it's like Genshin is good in their own way with all the events and stuff and the content of stories and the unique characters. Star Rail is more towards like modernized and has the auto battle mode which people are okay with. Because some people are just don't have the time to grind unfortunately to say. So it's a good game for them. And again, the voice actors as well. I remember because I downloaded it within 1.1. I also did! I had it on pre-registration! But I can't remember because my memory is forever. I could not remember that. Oh yay. Whoops, out of water. Uh, where's the water well? Oh, it's all the way over here. Right, so far away. But anyways, kids are dumb. and don't make any excuse to make fun of someone. I remember someone saying they made fun of because their parents were... Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, that's a little bit scary to say. Uh, I won't say it out loud, but... Kids are very savage, and sometimes they're not the nicest. Um, unfortunately, especially if you're like seven that's different from them, they'll try any means of way to be like, haha, you're different, we're gonna make fun of it. Which, it just sucks. It does genuinely suck. But, like you said, Ash, and for those in the chat again, like what you like, and if people make fun of it, so be it, because they're not you. If you're passionate about it, you'll be passionate about it. Hmm. Look at all this wood that I have yet to gather. <laughs> Maybe now I can go to the mine. I should go fishing as well, actually. I should. I should go fishing. I don't like fishing, but I gotta go fishing. To our value, Jojo, my customers! Our team members removed the last light coat by the drilling operation in a mountain lake. Like your mind, our drilling operation is entirely legal. Responsible to stewards of the local environment is a priority. We apologize for any inconvenience uh, this accident may have uh, caused. As always, value continuous support and patronage. 
Morris. Thanks, Morris. I'm not going anytime sooner. Whoops. Uh, I experienced that one event every player that started out that I saw about missing with the first Skarmouche meeting. I also got to experience that one when we first met Skarmouche. I think it's so annoying how they made that an event and not an actual story base because it doesn't make sense for those who didn't get to try it. Because if you missed out that one event, then you don't get to see how Skarmouche became to be or like the first introduction. That's so annoying. Dave, the diver, is not my cup of tea, and that's okay. It's not for everybody. It's only understandable. Don't get me wrong, the quality of life in Genshin used to be terrible and still pretty bad. But I'm still playing Genshin over three years and won't be stopping anytime soon. And that's okay, because you enjoy it. If you enjoy playing Genshin, that is totally okay. As long as you have fun, you know? Um, yeah, I just came on. Oh, hi, Score! Hello, hello! But you're right, this kid banned or threatened to ban me off the server because I didn't like BTS. If you don't like something... That doesn't, that doesn't account for actions like, Oh, I'm gonna ban you because you don't like this character. That's not how it works. If you don't like something, you don't like something. Again, I always tell people here. If you like something, but I don't like it, understandable. Again, that's each their own. That's their own preference. I'm not gonna be like, Oh, you can't watch my stream because you, you, do, 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 do. No, because that's dumb. If you like what you like, that's what you like. There's no point in saying that you don't do these things because of that. But yeah, hello, welcome to my name score. So sorry you came in with a name, with not name, with a with a story like this. But kids are not the smartest. I'm not gonna say all kids are dumb, but the ones that just don't understand stuff and just jump to the point, it's just very. Um, mm. uh, both Honkai Star Rail and Genshin stories are good, but people mostly don't like Genshin with how little effort they put into things. The story hits hard when they do write it when it's not repeated by Paimon. It's hard because. It's hard because the story in Genshin used to be good. I remember the, I remember the whole lore that used to be good. And then after Inazuma, or during Inazuma till after, it just got really tedious and long. Because enough for me, I really enjoyed Inazuma's story. I enjoyed Liyue's story. I enjoyed the monster story. But it wasn't good Sumeru. I was just so exhausted. I got super burned out. I was in the, the desert area for so long. By the time I got to Fontaine, I'm like, mm -mm, I, I stopped playing. I, I basically retired. I come back on occasion on Genshin as a new character that I really do want. But once I get the character, I basically just go back to retirement because I just got burned out way too hard from the story. Kids are just meh. I'm okay with some kids. Uh, there's some kids who are definitely mature for their age. Those I'm okay with. But the kids who are not mature and are like, oh, blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm like. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You, you, you may be a kid, but that doesn't count for your actions that are like this. That's what I'll say. Um, I think Garfield, Garfield, Cart Furious Racing is gonna be the next streaming meta. I doubt it, nice. I doubt it. It's obviously gonna be, obviously, the one and only, um, Pop Pom. Wait, sorry, Pom Pom? Uh, Pop Pop joins the circus from Humongous Games, which, by the way, I saw Humongous Games having a server now, Humble Bundle. So if you guys want a bunch of hum Humongous Games like Pop Pop, Spy Fox, uh, Freddy Fish, you can get the entire game collection for $14 on Humble Bundle. And I recommend it if you guys want to see a childhood. Yeah! Um, yeah, I've been called cringe for so many... Wait. I Yeah, I've been called cringe for so many interests since so long ago. That by now, at least I don't care anymore because at least it makes me happy. It doesn't hurt anyone. Exactly! It doesn't hurt anyone to say you like anime. It doesn't hurt anybody if you like... If you like... You know, if you like Genshin, it doesn't hurt anybody if you do this. It doesn't... If you have fun with it, then you have fun with it. It shouldn't matter just if you do that, you know? Yeah. I'm not technically familiar with Genshin, but there's so much side story, you don't even know what's considered the main story. And it's confusing, that's why I'm getting at the conversation. It's more so why people don't like Genshin and why they like Star Rail more. And why people like Star, uh, Star Rail more than Genshin kind of said. That's what it basically is. Genshin's story is actually pretty well written, it's just that the quality of life in the game isn't very good. And that's the thing, if I don't know what the quality of life is, that's saying a lot. <laughs> Cause I'm like, quality of life? Where? Um, I screwed up enough to be in the top 10 list? What does that mean? What does that mean? Also, I don't get what- I don't know what you're saying. I don't get it. I don't get it. What are you saying? Oh, hi there! Oh, hi, Mozo! <laughs> what a coincidence! Hello, hello, Mozo! Mozo Wo? Mozo Wo? Welcome on in! How are you doing? How are you doing? We're talking about Geshin and Star Rail, so if you want to join the conversation or listen in, you're more than welcome to! And also, we're checking out this, um, Tonkata community list. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, what's left of it anyway. 
top 10 list of what? Also, just a heads up, um, as we follow the rules on YouTube, same as Twitch, let's try to keep stuff on topic and comfortable if we can. Let's try to not, let's not make people uncomfortable. So, just a heads up, okay? Yeah. I just want to say that right now because I know the YouTube side can get a little bit rambunctious. So, I just want to state that right now if you guys are on my channel that, you know, I don't like it getting too chaotic and a little bit too, like, in-depth and too dark. We like to keep our vibes cozy here, so we gotta keep it a cozy vibe. Also, give me a second. developers to try that game and it's definitely a quote-unquote hard game that again it lives to the name if people complain that it's hard it's like that's the point <laughs> it's a hard game for a reason if it doesn't live up to the name then it's not a hard game but it's a thing too you're gonna get complaints no matter what people are gonna complain that it's a hard game people are gonna complain it's not too hard of a game you're gonna get some cons unfortunately but if you enjoy the game then yeah also don't be sorry score um Again, I just want to I just want to bring that up now because I want to make sure that we set the tone for YouTube. We already set the tone over in Twitch, but I want to make sure that those on the YouTube side understand that hi, my name is Sybil. And again, I hope you guys enjoy the stream, but I want to sure that the chat is comfortable as well. So let's try not to bring up too much TMI information. Again, make sure to read the rules. And just make sure that we all enjoy our time here, okay? So I just want to make sure that we don't bring up stuff that's too sensitive in, in case. And also stuff that's like too off topic. Mm-hmm. On a scale of 1 to 10, what do we think about naming a cat Cletus? Honestly, 10. I mean, if you want to name your cat Cletus, if you want to name your cat Cletus, you name cat Cletus. We don't judge here. And it's always like a nice name. It's been on my mind a lot ever since a particularly hilarious Dota A2 match for me and four of random people started LARPing as Mississippi in. That's a really random thing. I mean, that's okay because that's not harmful or like bad in the kind of sense. But that's not too bad. Alright, by the way, a question I want to ask a sitting star dude. What's up, Thunder? What was your longest farm you ever had if you remember? Oh, no, I re remember. It's the only other safe fall I have in the game anyway. <laughs> it's the one I had when I reached year two in Stardew Valley. I reached year two in Stardew Valley, and I've already been married, have a kid. And I achieved going to the desert area in Stardew Valley. So it's not kind of far. Um, well, I'm going to be going out to buy some snacks while watching. No worries, Ash. No worries, no worries. Thank you so much for dropping on the stream, and thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Everybody in chat, say goodbye to Ash as they go grab some snacks. Please do, please do. Eat well. Grab some snacks, Ash. Thank you for the chatter. I really do appreci appreciate it. Hope to see you around. Um, Makes sense. And no worry, make sure to follow the rules. And the chat is actually really chill. We said some really chaotic chats. Oh, that's what we try to do here. Like, I get YouTube is like a super different diversity from Twitch and it does get a little bit chaotic when a chat is a little bit crazy I, I just cannot with that unfortunately I'm setting my boundaries now on YouTube before YouTube gets a little bit crazier But I will say that again like it does get chaotic as the other chats I just here to chill and vibe honestly I'm just here to chill and vibe so if you guys want to chill area to vibe on YouTube hello no, I'm not going. You just won't talk much. Oh, yeah, no worries. We're just gonna wish you off to get some snacks, though. No worries. I just want to make sure to wish you off when you get some snacks. No worries, no worries. Um, also, reading the rules, Ash said, what does love bombing mean? Oh, love bombing is kind of like parasocial love bombing. I really don't like that. It's basically like saying, like, somebody comes in a chat, they're like, oh my gosh, Sybil, you are the cutest, amazingest person. I love you so much. Or like, Sybil, you are my one and only. I cannot live without you. And it's like, ugh. Like, it just, it just makes me feel super uncomfortable when people try to do that kind of stuff. Or to say, like, you are the cutest and I love you or, like, something like that. Like, it would go very strong and ham. Where it starts to feel parasocial, I can't with that. I really can't. It's just so bad. And it makes me uncomfortable. Like, just treat me like a human being. 
You wouldn't do that to a random person you meet on the street, right? Yeah. Like, just be normal. Because, again... I'm just here to vibe and chill. I don't appreciate when they put me on a pedestal because I'm not here to be on a pedestal. I just want to play my comfy Stardew Valley and chat with you guys. That's what I care about. And if you see somebody giving so much attention and like saying those words, I'm like, no, 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 no. Please don't. It makes me really uncomfortable. Like, genuinely. Like, that's the reason why I put that rule in the first place because I got uncomfortable because somebody did that to me. Um, I would too. Yeah, exactly. It's, it gets overwhelming. So I'd rather just have a nice chill time here. Hmm. So just creepy behavior? Kind of, kind of. Like creepy in a sense where they feel like a parasocialness, you know what I mean? So something like that. But I think love bombing's a way to word it as well because I don't like overly compliment complimenting stuff as well. Like when people over compliment you and being like, oh my god, you're so cool and amazing and like da 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 da. You don't have to give so much positivity and stuff if you if it feels like force and feel like you're doing it for anything else. Just say like, oh, Sylvia, you're cool, like, and that's fine. But if you go far, they call me the over, like, they're the god and only one and only that you follow along with. That's when it gets uncomfortable, and I'm like, bruh, I'm just someone streaming Stardew Valley Internet. I don't deserve this kind of words. And if you want to be nice, sure, but also keep it in moderation. Because obviously I can tell when it's like a moderation, it makes sense, and when it's uncomfortable. So, yeah, that's what, don't test it. <laughs> And same, someone did that in the server I'm in as soon as I joined because they thought they thought my character looked pretty and they did not enjoy it. See, if a character's pretty and they say like it's nice, okay, sure. But then once they go overboard and say like, oh my god, like blah 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 blah. That's just that's just way too much, man. It's just ugh. Like there's a limit for how much you can compliment somebody. You can compliment them with a single compliment, yes. But once you shower them with so much compliment, it does get really overwhelming, and I don't I don't like that again. I don't like that. Just treat me like a human. Also, I'm not gonna read this. I'm. It's just about the community center and reading tiring. That's cult-like behavior, exactly. And again, I appreciate people want to support the channel. I appreciate people want to support me and they, they like my streams and stuff. I appreciate it. Just know that again, I'm a human being like you all. I'm not anything different. <laughs> So just treat me as normal and just, you know, just hang out here and vibe. Think of me as like a, like a person, you know. Obviously, you know, obviously I'm entertained at first, you know, if you want to see me as someone that entertains you, like with my streams and stuff, then sweet. And then eat. Yeah. Aww, I'm visiting Jazz. But yeah, that's one of the rules. It's just love bombing's a no-no. Cause then it can get parasocial and I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Parasocialness is not on my list of streaming for the past couple of years. You saw something? I wouldn't be surprised if the place was full of rats. Not the rats, it's the little spirits. I think I'm going crazy. Oh, um. You're worrying me, Sybil. I'm worrying everybody. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I need- I think I need to go home. I need some lunch. <laughs> He's leaving me to be crazy. Hey, I'll keep the follow- wait, follow, sorry. I'll score! I heard the sound, I was like, follow. <laughs> thank you, score, for the subscription on YouTube! Thank you, thank you! I hope you enjoy your stay here, you know, one of our civilians in civilization! Thank you, thank you! I'm not used to it again. I'm more of a Twitch streamer, so I'm like, follow. Uh, keep this place unlocked for now. Yeah! Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Hmm. Um. Bum -bum. To be honest, you don't seem like a channel that only has 200 subscribers. 200 sub subscribers. You seem like you have at least 1k. Aww. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. The reason why I only have 2k subscribers is because I just started doing YouTube content this year. Uh, if you guys don't know TLDR and Civil History, I've been a streamer since 2021. I started originally on Twitch, and then it wasn't until this year I started doing more YouTube content. You, more YouTube content, I start, I did upload a few things, like mostly VODs and stuff. But nowadays, people are not interested in VODs, especially to I do stream for long hours. That nobody's gonna want to sit in like four hour like VODs, unfortunately to say. So, you know, my content's not really the most freshest. 
<laughs> but I really appreciate the content. That's why I've been trying to stream more on YouTube because I, I hope to grow on here. My main goal is to get to 500 subscribers one day. So I can get YouTube membership to have emotes. Yeah, that's like one of my goals. And I think I, I think I, I think I know just like here on YouTube, I'm just gonna chill out and play some games I don't play on Twitch. I'll play games that I don't usually play on Twitch, which would be nice. Cause there's some games I'm like I wanna play, like JRPGs and, and puzzle games. But I don't do them on Twitch because I'm always so scared that people are not gonna care about it over there. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Aw, oh, thank you, Score! Go looking at your journey. Thank you so much! I hope we can reach 500 subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna try to stream at least once a week on YouTube. Just so that we can get some content out there. I could try doing content, like shorts and stuff, but it haven't really been the most popular, which I totally get. <laughs> but thank you so much for that. Yeah, if you guys wanna follow my Twitch side as well, I just stream mostly on Twitch. If you guys are not used to on Twitch stuff, no way to totally understand. Um, most of my streams are on that side though, so if you guys want to see me more, I'm on that side. We're gonna be doing some gaming over there, like Haven, we got Summer vs. 1999, the gacha game as well, so... If you guys want to check out that side, you're more than welcome to. And then I also do some, um... I also do some art stuff as well, I do rigging for models. I do model rigs, just recently. So if you guys want to check out that process, you're more than welcome to. You can do a poll or something and see which games people would like to see. See, I would, but then I'll be playing to people's hands, and I don't want to do that. It's a thing where it's nice to see what the community wants to see playing, but it's also the thing too where if I'm not enjoying the games that people are choosing, then there's no point in me playing those games, you know what I mean? I want to play something that I have that I, that I think I would like, then having someone choose that I don't like it. I don't, I don't feel bad. I would feel bad about that. I mean, right now though, I am having people in my community choosing on Discord what scary game I'm playing at the end of the month. But that's because of my Discord server boosters, so that they got a choice to choose a scary game. But general games, I tried doing that before. It's just very hit or miss because, yeah, there are just some games where people choose and I'm not for it. Because also to choose games that are like, what, Resident Evil, to choose stuff like Divers 2. And it's a thing where I don't play stuff like that. I'm very niche gamer. And I'm a very niche gamer, so... I, they probably choose stuff I wouldn't play. Hi, Alex! He likes doing push up Oh, shoot, so close. Um, I have a Twitch as well. My main goal on there is to follow as much smaller creators as possible. Aw, that's very sweet of you to do. That's very sweet of you to follow them. Mm hmm. It's always nice to see like when people get support from their community members. But also, I hope you can, I hope when you follow them, you enjoy the content as well. Because it's always nice to like, check out the content from smaller people and seeing them grow as well. I think that's a really nice feeling. Man, everybody's in the room. Yeah, but you're putting in the options, putting only the games you like and might want to try. Oh yeah, okay, something like that is totally fine. I did that before. I used, I did that before actually. I did it before. That's how I get to play stuff like Bayonetta. And I did enjoy that. I think if I do pull like Zack kind of sense, I think that's totally fine. If I had to do something where they got to choose a game though, I probably would not because that would be a nightmare. But if something like my games, I think that's fine. Um, I hope the people in the Discord server boosters don't decide anything bad. I can't tell. Nobody's really said anything. So if nobody, if nobody suggests any scary games from the Discord server, I did get a game recently from Epic Games that was free, so I can always just play that. <laughs> I found this really cool game, guys, it's called Doki Doki Literature Club. And it looks really cute, and I love visual novels, so you can always play that. It's horror because it's so pink. <laughs> so yeah, I have that option. Um, I can always check my friend's library as well because they shared a library with me on Steam. But that's probably like the main option, it's like I'd probably just do that. Oh gosh. Um, that could work. Yeah, that could work. I, I just been a while since I did a poll. Because at the point where I am, it's like I would let people vote. But then also last time I had them vote, there was a game they chose that I was gonna play that I didn't play, I played something else. <laughs> so I gotta be careful about that. Also, I should go fishing. Oh, it already expired. Uh oh. The quest for fishing already expired. Ripsies. Let me see if I can go over to the mines and in that case, do something. Uh, speaking about streaming, I kind of want to eventually stream myself. I always tell people this. And again, like, obviously, you know, there's a, there's a thing called no self promo, but it's totally fine to ask about. But 
if you want to start streaming, I say go for it. Because you don't, you miss all the shots you don't take. And if you want to start streaming, try it out. See if you like it or not. And it's a thing too, where if you don't like it, at least you can say you tried it before you stop doing it. Because again, how do you know if you don't like streaming if you never tried it? How do you know if you like streaming if you haven't tried it? Try it out to see, you know? Give it a little bit of time. You know, start a stream. And here's the thing too, you don't have to start with the most like high, like high price overlays and like ease special effects and stuff like that. It takes time to do that stuff later. Because I'd rather people start... Please don't destroy my tent. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to destroy your tent. But if you want to start streaming, try it out and see. Because again, there's so many people that regret not being able to stream because they don't take those shots. And if you want to try streaming, try it. And again, you don't need to have fancy, fancy overlays. You don't need to have, you know, fancy, like, whatever, like, my VTuber model, which I have on here, my live to be model, you see, talking. You only need to start with that. Honestly, you can start with, like, a picture of somebody and just have it light up, and that's totally fine. That's how all people started. You can get something from Pit Crew as well to have, like, a PNG that talks. But again, you don't need to start off fancy fancy as well. Heck, when I started streaming, I was on an office PC. That was, like, the worst graphics. <laughs> you can find my old VODs from back when I started streaming back in the day. And it takes time to adjust and see if you like streaming or not. It definitely takes time. I've been streaming for, like, three years now, and it took me time to figure out what my niche is and how I want to stream. But if you want to try streaming, go for it. Go for it, go for it. All I ask is, again, like, if you do start streaming, I do have a rule that says no self-promoting, so don't go into streams and being like, hey, like, I start stream, I'm gonna go start stream now, bye-bye. Or, hey, I start stream, follow me. And it's like, ooh, because it makes the streamer uncomfortable. Obviously, you guys know that up right now, but it's just a heads up because there's actually some people that are not aware, so. <laughs> but if you do start streaming, again, I'm very excited for your journey. And I hope you have fun, especially. That's just the main thing. Have fun. If you're not having fun streaming, then that will be sucky. And don't worry about numbers again. Numbers are not the main thing of your journey. The journey is just enjoying your time playing games and seeing what you can do and socializing. And who knows? Maybe you can learn some new skills as well. Oh, it's Marlin. Hi, Marlin. Marlin looks a lot different from his pixel. <laughs> Ah, uh, Dream, I believe in you, random stranger. I believe in you, Score. We just met, but I believe in you. If you want to, definitely give it a shot. Yeah, Thunder's a good example as well. Thunder is somebody that, you know, they were thinking about streaming, and I was like, do it. Do it. Do it. And then Thunder started streaming, and now they're affiliate on Twitch. So, yay! I got a rusty sword! I got a rusty cage! Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurous Guild right outside. I'll keep my eyes on you. Prove yourself. Might think about making you a member. Uh, Shy Lily and K-Song started streaming with webcams when they eventually tried out using VTuber models. Experiment around, have fun. Try it cheating out cool. Exactly! Try, just experiment around, see what you want to do. If you want to be a face cam streamer, you can do a face cam streamer. If you, wanna, if you don't want to show your face, you can be a voice in the sky like how I used to be. <laughs> I didn't have any kind of PNG or anything. I just talked randomly like this without the model. Uh, you can also just, again, you can also just have a live 2D model. But again, don't invest in that unless you really want to because these models can get very expensive. That's why I always tell people, if you guys want to start with like live 2D slash v, like VTuber streaming, start with a picture first. See if you actually like streaming first. Because the amount of people I see that start streaming and invest like $2,000 into it and then say I don't like streaming anymore, those $200 went down the drain, basically, and it's like, ugh. <laughs> like it first before you invest more into it. And especially, too, people who buy, like, really expensive PCs and stuff, people who buy, like, high-tech equipment, and again, they don't need it anymore. That's also something that's really annoying, for me at least. It's just it's just so unfortunate to hear that. And then I'm like, you didn't know you were gonna stream, why'd you buy so much expensive stuff? And it doesn't matter if it's expensive or not. Again, start small. You know, you don't need to have a stream deck automatically. Heck, you don't need a stream deck at all. You don't need a really expensive webcam camera. You don't need a really expensive mic. Start small and build, your, build yourself up from there. Because who knows? If you don't like it, hey, at least you didn't invest thousands of dollars into it. Because that would suck. I hate that too. Mm, it's, 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 it's hate is a strong word. I just strongly dislike it. And it's just, mm, you know. Who, wait. Who hasn't streamed in over a month? Ha 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 ha. Excuse me, who's able to get affiliate fast? Mm. I'm still so proud of Sunder though. I'm genuinely so proud of Sunder for being able to, you know, to be able to stream and take that first step. Because he took that first step, 
Thunder's able to get affiliate and able to get their emotes, which I'm really happy about. I saw Thunder's emotes on Twitch. You too? What about me? <laughs> Wait, what about me? Also, keep in mind, when I say something, I might forget what I'm saying. They might have to repeat what I'm saying because I forgot what I said. <laughs> what do you mean, me? Oh, I need that. Uh... Uh, I need that. I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop that. I need, I need the dusty carrots. Thank you. I need it! I need to get to the fifth floor so that we can save. Uh, before I stream, I have to edit the hundred videos I have. Ha ha, Pink. Good luck on that. I mean, you don't have to start streaming before editing, honestly. That's totally fine as well. But it's only if you want to, obviously. Oh! I need that! Um, uh, what do I get rid of? No need that. No need that. I need that, yes. Man, I should really get a backpack. I should really get a backpack. Uh, I'm gonna need the cave carrots. I don't care. Oh, wait, no, do I? Yeah, the lightest quest is gone now, so I think I'm fine. I'm just gonna eat the carrots. Yolo. I need to sell stuff first. Um, you too? You also reached it fast, didn't you? No, you guys didn't know? Thunder, I talked about it. When I first started out on Twitch, um, I didn't reach my affiliate till a month after I started. And the reason why is because I didn't advertise that I was streaming because I'd rather grow organically. Not saying that asking people, to, uh, telling people that I stream is growing organically. But at least for me, like, I'd rather people just find me and like my stream kind of thing, per se. Because again, it's like, oh, I just, I also felt nervous to reach out and be like, hey guys, I stream, you guys should follow me. The only people I did that for was my IRL friends, because my IRL friends would hang out with me during my streams. Which is also a really good thing as well, if you guys don't know what to talk about. If I have some IRL friends that you're comfortable with that won't say your IRL name in real life, and stream, and just hang out with them and talk with them. I did that for a good amount of my streams when I first started out, and they were super helpful and super sweet. They were there with when my when I got my first raid. They were there when I first streamed. We played Donut Country together. It was a lot of fun. Ooh, it's dark here. I need to get to the fourth floor. There's so many earth stones that I don't have the space. Leave me alone! But I didn't reach it that fast. No, I didn't. And that's fine. Like, I remember I literally had to stream an extra day before uh, before my affiliate thing is fired. Because once it's 30 days pass and you need to reach your goals, it resets. It's really annoying. So I wanted to get it within my first month of streaming, and I did. And yeah, that works. Doug, get me out of here. I'm out of space and, uh, and energy. Um, a month is fast. Not really. A month was fast only because I, um, I streamed almost every day, hoping that people would see my streams. I would stream Stardew. I was a sucker. I also streamed Fighting at Funkin' that one Rhythm game. Ugh. <laughs> Trying to stream the meta game so I can reach affiliate because I was like, I want to, I want to get those cool emotes and stuff and be cool. And now I'm like, yay. Now I'm like, eh. <laughs> but it's definitely a hard journey because nobody knew I streamed. And the people that knew that I was streaming, they're like, Oh, Simple, you stream? I'm like, hi, yes. Why don't you say anything, like, to us that you stream? Because I'd rather people find me organically, and then I don't want to go to people's streams and be like, Oh, look, hey, I stream, by the way. Like, I would feel bad to do that. I wouldn't want to do that to anybody. I'd rather people just find me. Like, yes, I post a go live on my Twitter and my Discord server, because that makes sense. But I don't post it on a Discord server in a sub-promo area, if you know what I mean. I don't post it there because I'm like, eh, eh. I'm like, if it happens, it happens, but like, I'm most of the time I just let him find me. Stop watering! I'm gonna sell this horse radish because I'm low on money. It's a gold star, but like, I am no money. I need money. Uh, score said, yeah, my PC for some reason has trouble running Steam. And I just improvised it going on itch, uh, uh, itch.io, occasionally pretty good stuff there. And that's fine! Itch.io has some really good games. Like, that's totally fine. Heck, if there's still any Flash games available, like, on Newgrounds and Armor games, you can play those as well. I think that's totally fine. Like, you can play, like, Bloons. You can play, like, Fire, Fire Guy, uh, Water Girl and Fire Boy, whatever it's called. You can play, bo like, bo Bolt Wars. And I think that'd be totally fine. I think, do what you want. 
Heck, when I first started streaming, I streamed this freaking old 2009 Flash game. And again, people enjoyed it because they're like, hey, look at that. That's cool. And it's fine. It's totally fun to do that. Um, I was the opposite and I said, I had Philly off of the back of the, uh, the big multiplayer events that I leveraged out of our social circle to generate viewership those. Huh? Wait, sorry. Uh, I mean, I get that. That's because you knew people. Again, that's what I'm saying. Again, everyone's experience is different. For me, it's because I didn't know anybody too close to be in anybody's circle and stuff. Again, this is back in 2021 when streaming just became a big thing. But not everybody knew a lot of people. Again, like community members wise. Like a lot of people mostly watch is not streamers. That's why it took me a while because I didn't know anybody. And it's, it happens for people's views. Also, again, let's try not to, you know, sound like we're flexing on each other because let's not do that. Everyone's journeys start differently. Um, and that's just how it is. It took me two months, what you want about? That's because you didn't tell us you were streaming till later. <laughs> I had to advertise it because you were about to, you were so close to getting affiliate, but you were not telling people. And I had to tell people. Ah, uh, Friday Night Funk in that game. I liked it back when it first came out, like personally. I liked it when it first came out. But then as time went on, I'm like, eh, I'm not really a fan as much anymore. Which I feel bad for because I am a victim of somebody who uh, th supported a Kickstarter. And I'm like, well, <laughs> there's the Kickstarter goal. Here we are. <laughs> and until this day, I'm still waiting on it. I'm like, I'm still waiting for the Kickstarter. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> I don't know if we can get a refund, unfortunately, but it's fine. It's fine. It was a good game. You know, it definitely deserves support. Um, I was at a game convention recently and somebody looked at the DDR setup and said, is that Friday Night Funkin'? Is DDR getting old or was that just that person? It's just that person. It's just that person. DDR is never old. I know people that still know it. I think it's because they more, they, they're probably young and they don't know. I didn't want to make a big deal about it when you started out. You didn't say anything either. I know, exactly. We don't want to make a big deal out of it. But also... But also, I would have felt bad if I missed out on Thunder to not get the Founder's Badge. So, uh, obviously not flexing. But if you, if you want to ask your closest friend, that's totally fine. Like, again, I told my closest friends that I streamed. Again, it's totally fine. People on Twitch, though, I didn't know anybody, so that's why. I'm Bailey on day six. Oh, hi! Oh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed you've been breaking some rocks open and fighting ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ore to find, you need a furnace. Just to happen, I have an extra set of blueprints laying around here. Here, I want you to have them. Thanks, Clive! You don't want to make it for me? The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you smelt a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make it work a lot easier. Well, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Thanks, Clyde. You're very sweet. Okay, one roll down. Oh, this was so annoying because of this. It's okay, I got it done though. Nice! I got a letter. I see you've been exploring the old mines. You got the adventurous spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay 10 sludge and you're placing my adventurous guild. Sweet! I do need to start selling stuff though. I, I need a backpack desperately. Or oh, I could probably just go fishing, honestly. I could just go fishing. Oh my god, there's so many quests. Um, you can only see in Discord when someone is streaming when their green online button is on the Twitch purple and says stream. Yeah! And then also, I made it my Discord server. You guys want to join my Discord server? <laughs> I made it so that way, if those are streaming, they get put up above the list. Because that way, if you guys want to check them out, then you can see who's streaming who's not. It's like a way of self-promoting without them doing a sub-promo. Because that's one of my icks, I'll be honest. Like, not in a mean way. It's one of my icks to summon join the Discord server only to just solely sub-promote. Because, okay, I can't even promote your streams. But not in a mean way. No one's going to check out your stream if you're not interacting the server. Cause you just see like one of the normal people that's like, oh, I'm just here to like self promote. It's like, who are you? <laughs> who are you? Like, you're not saying anything, but you only been doing self promo. It's like, it kind of defies the whole joining the server kind of sense. Like, you know, it, it just doesn't feel good. That's the reason why I don't have a self promo. That's the reason why I don't have a self promo channel on my Discord server. That's something I really wanted to set up when I first started it because 
I really didn't like it. I didn't like how, when I look at our Discord servers as well, I had a friend that had a sub promo channel, and the channel was only quote unquote, at, server was only quote unquote active because of that channel. And it sucked! Because they didn't chat, like I didn't know who these people were, but they were just using the server to promote their own content. And I just felt bad for the friend. I felt bad for them. Again, if you guys want to do sub promo, at least talk in the server before, so that people know who you are. Because if you're just posting in there, people are gonna be like, Who are you? And that's just weird. I kinda wanna play DDR? You should! I love playing DDR. It's a really fun game. Whenever I go to an arcade and I see it, I try to force my friends onto it, even though I know they're not too active. <laughs> I'm not the most fit person either, but it's a lot of fun playing like DDR. This is one I found at, a, at an old gaming convention, an old DDR machine. And me and my friends just played on that. It was a lot of fun. I was really addicted. Whoa! Carrot seeds! From the beach? Ah, oh, I'm out of space. Rip. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. Gotta get rid of that. I'm giving those carrot seeds. Those seeds are a need. And it's good. Yeah, it's definitely really good that I have the, the role to give when you're live and it separates people. Because again, I don't like the self-promoting if I don't know the people. It's hard to do the self-promo if they don't know who you are. And then I'm like, how am I supposed to support if I've never seen you active anywhere else? It's kind of weird. Um, also, wait, my Wi-Fi died for a second and I missed anything. Welcome back, Thunder. We're just talking about self-promo and stuff like that. Because whenever I'm in a Discord server, and quote-unquote, when the channel's only a when the server's only active because of the promo, it, it kind of sucks because I guess it's active, but it was only for that one channel. It just feels kind of like, what's the purpose of it? And people are just there to just promote themselves. Like, no one's chatting in the chats, no one's posting any pictures. It really does suck. Like, that's why I don't have it on my end. And I know this other, like again, for each your own, I know some servers that do have it and they actually use it because they want to support people, and I get that. I just have a really bad history with it because I've seen people just using the server only to sub promo, they don't chat anywhere else. And I don't want that on my server. I rather have my server be a place where we can chat and hang out after stream, we can do watch parties, we can talk about video game content, anime content, music content, food content. And that's what I want. It's, like, it's just a nice community, just hang out and chilling. And everybody's been really sweet in the Discord server, you know, everybody's been really sweet sharing information, talking about food, sharing food with Civil one day. It's a really sweet and considerate, and I'm really happy with how it's coming out, you know? Maybe one day we'll get uh, um the the Discord official server one day. That requires 1,000 members, and I don't want that. That's gonna be a while. I'm taking my time on that. Sorry, so my focus. Fishing sucks! Fishing sucks! This is why I need to buy a better fishing rod, maybe. But I don't like fishing. <laughs> I should do it now, though, because if I do the stuff I don't like now, it'll be easier later on. Now, given I'm not gonna max out my fishing because that's kinda not what I want. But, uh, ooh, whoops! That's going somewhere. Ooh! No, 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 no. We're gonna grab... How do I grab that? How do I grab that? I'm nowhere near it. How do I grab you? Chess! Stop jumping! <laughs> ah! Give me a second, I wanna fish. Let me grab one more fish and I'll go back to chat. <laughs> I need to get some fishing skills up. Cause I can sell these. I need profit. Oh, I don't like fishing. Oh, fishing is not my forte. I don't want to grab that chest, but it's too far away from each other. Okay. Another 
sardine! I can't grab it. Uh, Mixie. Yeah, I was working on this project and people were basically just using it for self promoting other mm -hmm. projects people would like to help with. But it was the only one active. See, it makes sense when they want to, you know, promote other projects. I get it. But can it, if they can at least, like, it's the thing. They can help contribute to their own projects, but they have to contribute to your own project as well. It has to be a two way street. If they only do it in one way, then that's just, they're just only utilizing it for themselves. And that's, that's not ideal. Like, you have to, if you're going to help with somebody, if you're going to help with your own project, at least help them with the other project as well. Ooh, fish! Herring! Uh, I'm gonna get rid of seaweed. Yeah. Go for a swim. Easiest way to get out of the water. But I can't swim! The game doesn't let me! Bad topic, me no likey. I don't know which topic you're talking about, kid. Oi! But yeah, that is my take on sub promo and stuff like that. It's just a thing that I'm like, mm. There you go, perfect! Another one! Uh, yeah, yeah, so many sardines. Okay, I'm gonna go sell these what now, it's okay. If only get to my house faster this way, but our house is like, what, far away? Yeah. I have to just walk over, unfortunately. Also, I do apologize, the topic is went to sub promo and stuff. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> but, um, overall, again, like, when it comes to streaming, Try it on the sea, but at the end of the day, just have fun. If you're not having fun, then mm. and it will get to you. What a warning! That you may encounter stuff where you feel like you have to do better, or you start saying numbers. Don't let the numbers get to you. That's what I'll say. Because when numbers get to you, it you start feeling stressed out about things you're not supposed to be stressed about, and that's not fun. That's not fun. I want to keep the fish, but at the same time, I shouldn't. <laughs> I gotta sell. Oi, okay. I need to sell some money. I need to get 2,000. My goal is to get 2,000 by the end of stream. So that way I can get the backpack. Because that'd be nice. Okay, and now I'm going to make one more plot. Just for the carrots. Okay. Carrot seeds. Takes three days to grow. Perfect! Okay, I can do a little bit more farming. So I'm gonna go run back. I could probably farm. Uh, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Get out of here. I could probably fish over here, but I'd rather do it at the beach. Um, so promo generally, generally, if the streamer on the Discord is streaming at the exact same time, I'll see someone promo pop up immediately after that stream. I don't get what that means, huh? Wait, sub promo generally, if the streamer on the Discord is streaming at exactly this time, I'll see someone's promo pop up immediately after the stream. Oh, see so me like when a streamer starts streaming, somebody else starts streaming at the exact same time? I mean, it happens though, it happens. Where people will just stream at the exact same time, you know, because it's on the schedule. And it happens. Why is it willing to fish here, but I can't? <laughs> hey, that's not fair. I saw Willy for like fishing here just a couple of days ago. Oh, did I talk to Leia? Hi, nice to meet you. You picked up a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Hi, Leia. Dang it, I gotta give somebody a gift. <laughs> That's the gifts I gave to Sebastian I'll count earlier in the day. SMH. You probably wouldn't like it to some of my cabinets. Dragon full of spiders. How come he gets to fish here? Can I fish here? Wait, now I'm curious. Can I fish here? Okay, I can fish here. I'm taking your spot now. <laughs> this is my spot. Also, what is this? There's like a black speck over here on this side. I don't know what it is. Oh, river jelly. Yum. Um, it shows just how much you're into the topic. So nice so nice to the thought. I mean, it's good. I don't talk about this stuff usually too often again. I try to keep it lighthearted. So like, I rather talk about stuff like, Oh, like what did you guys eat today? Or what do you guys want to eat in the future? What have you guys watched recently? We want to keep it more like on the topics of like, chillax and relax. But it just got to that topic eventually. Now, keep in mind, I don't talk about this stuff too often. If you come by the stream and I don't talk about streaming stuff, again, um, I just don't talk about it because it's, I don't talk about it too often because it's not part of my niche. I don't really talk about it too often. But when it comes up, I'm not gonna like cower back and be like, oh, let's not talk about streaming because I don't want to talk about it. Like, I'm okay talking about it to an extent. Like, obviously, I have my limits as well. No! But I'm okay. I'm okay with it to an extent. Perfect! Okay, I got the little droppy droppies. 
That means I'm gonna get something good, hopefully. Also, hello, Deluxe! Hello, hello! Good to see you! How are you doing, Deluxe? Welcome on in! Oh, also, before the stream ends, I gotta show you guys the new stuff I added for Twitch, which I'm really excited for. <laughs> if you guys didn't know this past weekend, I was working on stuff for stream, which... It is mostly applicable over on the Twitch side. I could, I could try to get it work on the Discord side as well. On the Discord side, on the YouTube side as well. It's just hard because YouTube is so limited on what we can do over here. Because we can't, we can't have redeems. We can't have um, change the title, things like that. But I'll try to find a way. So it's definitely for both. I'll try to find a way. Cause I, I don't want you guys to feel too left out, even though I'm only streaming here once a week. But I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far too. By the way. You know, originally before I was gonna do Stardew, before the 1.6 update came out, I was gonna stream a JRPG game because it's my favorite game series when I was younger. I was gonna stream Atelier. If you guys know Atelier from This America and Gus, they're like one of my favorite games, all about like alchemy and stuff like that. And I was gonna start streaming over here because, you know, I don't get time to do it on Twitch, so. <laughs> if not that, I was probably gonna stream like Professor Layton or something. Or Kirby. Actually, no. I was really thinking about streaming like really old games as well because I was re watching old game series. And it makes me motivated to stream those because, man, I have not played some games in a while and I miss them. <laughs> Simba's gonna stream Flash games over here? Heck yeah! Might as well stream old games because why not? Because what else can I do besides, <laughs> besides stuff like that? Hey, yo, new Stardew update? Yeah! Aegis! Hi, Aegis! Are you gonna play the new update for 1.6? I'll be honest, I haven't seen the new stuff yet because I'm so slow. But you should definitely check it out. I think it's the final update before the Concerned Ape works on... Before he works on the Chocolatier. So let me go check it out. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. No! Frick you! <laughs> I have not played Stardew Valley on stream in so long. Last time I played this game is like, what? Three years ago when I first started streaming? So I think that's funny. Sorry, Penny, I've already left. I need to go sell my fish to get profit. Elias said I gotta go. Did my first time watching one of your streams and that was really fun. Looking forward to the next one. Aw, thank you, Elias. Thank you so much for dropping on into the YouTube stream. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to see you around as well. Again, I'm only doing YouTube streams like once a week. But hope during those weeks, I hope to see you drop on in as well as everybody else. Thank you. Everybody say goodbye to Elias. They gotta go head out. Bye, Elias. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye, bye. Have a good one. It's good to see you. Um, hi, Civil. Hi, Dela. I'm doing good at the moment while waiting for a chicken pot pie to cool down and copy down in regards to certain topics on stream. <laughs> Thank you, Deluxe. And also enjoy your chicken pot pie. I should definitely cook something later. Ugh. The only thing I can think about my head right now is a mac and cheese talk. <laughs> and I don't want to make mac and cheese. <laughs> I already eaten it yesterday. I had a friend. He DM'd me saying, Simba, that's way too much smoking, or too much mac and cheese. I'm like, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> and he's like, Frick. Bye, Elias. Bye, 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 bye. I'm so tempted just to send these out to my friends at this point. Hi, friend. Have a mac and cheese. Um... Back, I got some water and fed my fishies. Nice, do grab that water, please do. Get some hydration in. Jake, if you're still here, hydrate for goodness sakes. <laughs> I don't know if Jake's still here who dropped by earlier, but Jake needs to drink some water. If you're listening in, Jake, drink some water. Uh, do you like playing hack and slash games? If so, did you play Devil May Cry 5 and Metal Gear Rising? Nope, I played neither. <laughs> hack and slash games, I don't really play too often. I played Ancient Weapon Holly, which I don't know if it counts, but... I don't really play him too often. I might check it out, but I'm really into Unicorn Overlord at the moment. Yo! Unicorn Overlord! I might just give up and just buy that game in standard version. I played a demo on my Twitch side. Um, Unicorn Overlord is such a good game. It's by Vanillaware and Atlas. And it's really good if you guys haven't checked that out. If you guys like Fire Emblem, if you guys like eight, it's like 13 Sentinels. It's a really good game. I played a demo and I got like 10 hours into that demo. <laughs> uh, it's a really fun game. I recommend it. It's really fun. I already have a save file in there, so once I buy the game, I should be fine. It's the thing of, do I want to buy Unicorn Overlord right now? Or do I want to go and buy the Steam sale first? For the spring, the spring Steam sale first? Or do I want to go for Unicorn Overlord? Because there's some games on Steam that I also want to buy as well. But I have to keep an eye on my limit of budgeting. So I'm like, ah. Uh. Oh my goodness. Uh, me when banana, but banana milkshake? Banana milkshake? Oh, you mean banana milkshakes? Oh, I've never had a banana milkshake, but I assume it's delicious. Even though you had almost every day. 
Dude, it is so good. I already played it, but I don't know if I want to buy the full game or not because gosh dang, it's my wallet. <laughs> and also Steam sale. I mean, a Steam sale's gonna end in like two days, but still. <laughs> I started playing a bit of the shooter game Far Cry 3 and Doom. Hey, someone's saying a PS gamer for you. That's fair. I seen Doom gameplay from a friend. It's not my cup of tea. Um, Far Cry, I have to, I have to look more into it, but I definitely go check it out. Mm. It's much more complicated than Fire Emblem 2. It's way more complicated. There's 60 plus characters. This is not just fighting strategy. It's actually real life battle as well. So there's a lot of components that go in there. It's a lot better than Fire Emblem. And heck, the voice acting is amazing. And I've only played in English voice acting. But the voice actors of Blade, Genuine from Honkai Star Rail is in Unicorn Overlord. So that's really cool. Uh, there's other ones as well. I have to listen to it carefully. But highly recommend Unicorn Overlord. But I gotta see, because again, I want to buy Little Goody two, 2 Shoes on Steam as well, and it's on sale. And I love supporting Astro, Astro Project, who's done the same game like Pocket Mirror. They have a game on sale um, called Little Goody 2 Shoes that I want to buy. And I also want to buy Bokura, because I really want to play Bokura with a friend. Because your girl needs people to play with, so... <laughs> I'm gonna try to buy Bokura and force a friend to play with me, because I have never played Bokura before. It looks like a lot of fun. So that's on my list as well. Eh. Also, my fishing went up. Eh. Um, thanks, Sybil, but it's like an mac and cheese. Sounds good. Dots, no! I can enjoy milk and, milk, milk and cheese. Mac and cheese every single day. Have you seen how many boxes I have? I will save that for once a week unless it expires and I will, I'm screwed. But I'm good. <laughs> People tell me to eat mac and cheese, but like, listen, that's just a lot of issues right there. Did I pet my chickens? I did not. Let me go pet my chickens. Hi, Brainy. Hi, Shana. Uh, I want to say better than Fire Emblem. I love both. It really depends because I also like Fire Emblem as well. But I feel like for other like demographics, a lot of people have been very mixed about, say, Fire Emblem Engage. <laughs> which I also enjoy that game. I know people don't enjoy it because they're like, oh, this is a very different Fire Emblem. But listen, those people came in playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. Of course, it's going to be something vastly different. So, you just got to keep an open mind when playing games like that. You're going to experience something different. I miss. I, I, I need to play Fire Emblem Three Houses still. I haven't played the Golden Deer round. One day, Civil will play the Golden Deer round and finish it. One day. I have the save file still, but I might just reset it because... Uh. Um, I struggle playing Far Cry because there's so much climbing on high places and my fear of heights triggers. Ooh. Just just have someone else play for you in the heights area and it should be good. <laughs> just, just make sure to look away. Go for the sale first, the Unicorn Overlord isn't going on sale anytime sooner. No, honestly, that's why I'm like thinking. But also, I want to play Unicorn Overlord on stream before it starts becoming like unpopular, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't want to play it next you know people are like, oh, this game was so old. I'm like, listen, I took a while to buy it because my wallet. <laughs> I have my wallet, I have, to, I have to save for the Steam sale. Oh my goodness. Um. Sorry, hearts for Sybil's wallet. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sybil's wallet. I really enjoyed watching others play Unicorn Overlord and got to play the demo myself. A lover of mac and cheese, you are indeed. <laughs> Leave me alone. I, I, I wasn't even the one that bought it, by the way. My family's, I, we have a family friend that drops off groceries because they're in the area. And they're like, hey, we heard Sybil likes mac and cheese. Here, half 20. And I'm like, oh dear God. <laughs> Listen, now I used to like mac and cheese, but they keep giving mac and cheese. I'm gonna get sick and tired of it at this point. Heck, it's just the same brand. I'm so tempted to go out to like an Olive Garden or a Slip Fantation if it's still around to go get mac and cheese. Or like Chick-fil-A because I just need something different. <laughs> also, I'm the one making it so it doesn't taste as good. Because I make it really badly. But yeah, hearts for someone's wallet. Because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to buy from the Steam Spring Sale. And then also for Unicorn Overlord, I originally was going to buy the Collected Edition because I have a friend that bought it. And then there's a card game that comes with it, there's a sound that comes with it, an art book that comes with it. I was like, should I just wait to buy the Collector's Edition? But after talking with a friend, they're like, honestly, just go for the Standard Edition because if you don't want the art book or anything like that of the card game, then you're, you're fine off without it. And I'm like, eh. I mean, if I really, if I really want the card game, if they have it separately in the store, I'll buy it from there. But if not, then I'm, a, I'm okay with waiting for it to go on sale. Or I'll just ball it. I'll just ball it and just buy the full game. <laughs> I'll just buy the full game because I feel FOMO. The FOMO, but I'll play Unicorn Overlord seeing everybody else play. 
I have big FOMO. When I see somebody else playing, I'm like, I want to play as well. And it doesn't help eat it up. People are trying to convince me to play Splatoon Dream. I'm like, I will get Splatoon Dream when it ever goes on sale. Which is basically never, but I will get it eventually. And then also people are telling me to play Elden Ring, and I'm like, Guys, you know that I don't have a job, right? I have to buy these games when they're on sale. And when you guys are not forcing me... <laughs> and not like it's a bad thing, but I'm like, guys, just give me a second. I'll get these games in moderate time. <laughs> just wait for me. Would I be allowed to say my specific fears would be considered too personal? Um... It depends if they're TMI. If they're TMI specific fears, like... If not trigger somebody in chat, you, you don't have to say it. Because, yeah, if there's no point, if there's no pressure in saying it, I think you're fine without saying it, I would say. But if you want to share, you're more than welcome to. It just can't be too triggering. Hmm. Unicorn Overlord, the Divers 2. I'm gonna find other games to distract myself anyway because Apex is a no no right now. <sighs> well, you're sad because I just got invited to play games with Apex with somebody, and I was like, no! <laughs> How can someone play games with people? That's the most of the game they play. Cries, cries in corner. Civil got invited to play games with somebody, but now we have to find something else to play. I don't really have that many multiplayer games too, honestly, that people have. So I was like, hmm. Oh, I don't like fishing. Oh, I don't like fishing. Oh, I don't like fishing. Oh, fishing hurts my heart. It's so bad. I just want a better backpack! <laughs> So I gotta sell all these fishies to get a better backpack. Oh my god, can I not jump? Can I not jump, please? Come on! Okay. Oh, I got an anchovy! Nice! Um, okay, my two fears are heights and loud noises. Oh, that's understandable though. Loud noises are definitely scary. Do you feel that way with like balloons popping by any chance? I know balloon poppings are definitely horrifying. And then loud noises. I, I want to say fireworks, but fireworks do like shock people for sure. But I don't know if it's to an extent like scaring somebody. Heights definitely. I feel that I don't have too bad of a fear of heights. But definitely, if I go like on a roller coaster or if I go to like buildings with the floor is glass, I'm like, ooh, stomach glitches. <laughs> also, that's the reason why I don't like roller coasters. Ha ha! Oh man. Okay. Frick. Okay. Uh, what sells more? Oh, I'm gonna go to the anchovy. Bye, Elliot! Bye, Elliot! <laughs> Every time I see Elliot, I think of that old cartoon show, Elliot Moose, who's on the loose. Uh, I need to find something to binge for this weekend. I played Hasman Hotel, which I still need to watch. But, why don't I do with Hasman Hotel? Because it's pretty short, I gotta find something else to binge. Maybe be in Puppy Cat from Netflix? I've yet to watch that. Mm, also, if it really. It, it really depends, because there's so much stuff I wanna binge, but I don't know what I'm feeling for. Oh no, Harvey, sorry! <laughs> Poor Harvey had to experience the lure. Not like this. Oh, but also, ah, uh, I see, I see. So definitely, definitely loud noises like balloons. That's understandable though. Balloons suck. I am not a fan of balloons. Like, ooh, ooh. Not really fun. Especially when they pop. Or when they're like nearby you and they make that sound. No, thank you. Everybody has a terrible understanding fear. And that makes sense. Ooh, I should probably grab these. Uh, boop. Boop. I just need to sell, guys. I need to sell to get $2 to get a backpack. Because <laughs> how can you live your first week of farming? And not farm. That's what I'll say. Oh my goodness. Hi, Granny. I just saw Granny. I was like, Granny! When is she gonna give me her cookie recipe? <laughs> I shredded you, Granny. Give me a recipe or I'm gonna fish you out. Uh, Unicorn Wars is pretty good, but it's violent if you want show recommendations. Oh, I don't like violent shows. I don't like violent shows. I don't really like gorgeous shows. I'm, I'm more so of like wholesome shows slash like funny shows. Um, give you an example. Mm -hmm. It's anything like anime and manga related. I don't really watch live action too often. But if you have any suggestions like that, you know, like something like Wings, not not Wings Club, sorry, uh, Witch, something like Beyblade, something like Super Robot Monkey Team Hyper Force Go. Maybe I should watch Beyblade. I'm actually even tempted to watch Beyblade, especially because I heard Viz Media has all of Beyblade on their YouTube channel. I could do that. Watch Beyblade this weekend. 
I also have to watch the new Beyblade season, Beyblade Z. So I gotta check that out too. There's also Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been really depending on me watching Yu-Gi-Oh! So, ooh. But thank you for the suggestion. I, I really do appreciate it. It's just a thing of like, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty not into like gore and scary things, honestly. But I appreciate the suggestion. Hi, Haster! Wow, a YouTube stream! Wow, it's Haster! <laughs> Hi, Haster! How are you? This is where I go escape from Twitch so I can go play games that are really chill. Like Stardew Valley and my indie games. <laughs> because I can't play Atelier over there because it's scary. But how are you doing, Haster? How are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, I gotta show you guys the stuff too later. Uh, how much longer am I streaming for? That's a question. We got a watch party later tonight in the Discord server. Haster, you coming to the watch party tonight? We're gonna watch Treasure Planet. If you guys like Disney's Treasure Planet, come join us on the Discord server. We're gonna watch it tonight. It's a good movie. It's a very good movie. I think people forget that it's a really good movie. But you guys should- if you guys haven't seen it yet, you guys should definitely watch it. In your own time too, if you guys prefer. Oh my god, this fish is really difficult. You better be a big fish. You're not a big fish, you're a sardine. This fish sucks. <laughs> oh! Oh! Run back, run back, run back, run back. Nice! Beyblade does my do- Wait, does my does? My friends need right now? Wait, do you mean like uh, Beyblade that those your friends need right now? Beyblade's super good. I- I watched Beyblade the original series with Kai, mm -hmm. Ty, um, Ray, and Max. I really enjoyed that one. Beyblade Metal with Geen Fandom was not too bad. But well, it was just hard because I didn't understand what was going on. And it was Beyblade Blade Burst with Vaught Aoi. Which I remember watching because it was the same voice actor from Future Card Play Fight from YouTube channel. And that one wasn't too bad. It's the same company as Bushy Road who did Carpet Vanguard. I watched a little bit of that one. And then I stopped because it got really dumb and I was like, uh, this ain't my this ain't my Beyblade. Where are my fifties? Where are my stuff? <laughs> but I heard the new one that came out, Beyblade Z was super good. My friend recommended it to me. Um Hasta knows who they are, but Fido, my dear friend of mine, recommended Beyblade Z, so I have to watch that too when I can. Um, but also Yu-Gi-Oh as well. I heard Yu-Gi-Oh as well is getting interesting, so it really depends. Oh my god, Seaweed. Uh, one of my one of my friends basically forced me to watch it when I was younger. Did you like it at least? Did you like Beyblade at least when you were forced to watch it, or were you like weirded out of it? <laughs> Cause I know it's definitely very different from usual cartoons. But it's not that bad! It's not that bad. Also Digimon. I have to rewatch Digimon. Because this year is Digimon's 25th anniversary being around. So I gotta do- I gotta give it some support and hype it up and watch Digimon as well. Not the newer one, but the older one. Cause those are really good. Eventually my Discord server will do a Digimon movie night as well. To watch all the Digimon movies. Cause those are really good. Not just Adventures, but also Tamers and Frontier. Cause those movies are really nice. Oh my god, somebody's starting. You know that's, ex that's the exact voice I did. Hey! <laughs> I know you, Haster. I know you. Oh shoot, sure. That's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Again, no obligation if you guys can't make it to the Discord watch party tonight. But if you guys want to join us for Church of Planet, you're more than welcome to. It's a really good movie. And again, it's like one of the older Disney movies that I really enjoy. Because don't get me wrong, I, I do like the newer Disney movies. But you can't go wrong with the older movies like Atlantis. Um... Atlantis, Treasure Planet, um, Goofy Movies 1 and 2, um, what else was there? Um, uh, I was gonna, I don't know why, I was gonna say Anastasia, Anastasia is not under Disney technically. Um, uh, what else was there? Um, what else is there Disney old movie wise? That's a good question, I need fish. I'm running low on energy as well, I'm gonna do one more fishing trip and then I have to go to sleep. End game. Uh, this was a, those are the classic Disney princess movies, yes. Uh, what else? Disney shorts as well, yes. I'm trying to think what else is there. What's it? I mean, it's also Disney live actions, but like, I don't know how many people watch Disney live actions. Like, Cadet Kelly and stuff. Those are very old movies. Hi, Shane! Shane hates me. He doesn't want to talk to me. That's fair. <laughs> I wouldn't want to talk to me either. I see how it is. It's okay, Shane. I can take a hit. If you don't want to talk to me, I understand. I get the message. I'm not talkable. 
I understood. Oops, I'm blocked by a stone. Oh, there's so much forestation here. I don't want to chop anything down because I feel like I have plenty as it is as of this moment. If I don't later, I'll definitely have to chop down more stuff. Ooh, hopefully I have enough to sell. Hopefully. I'll do one more fishing until my energy goes down because my energy is still pretty high. And then we'll hope we get a thousand. Because I, I need a backpack, guys. How do people start Stardew Valley survive without a backpack? The big one. Maybe there's a mod. I could be wrong. <laughs> Maybe there's a mod unless you have a big backpack automatically. But I'm mostly a vanilla player. I don't usually play with mods in my games. Not even a lethal company. Because I'm not used to it. Heck, I just started playing a mod, a modded, um, played of. You guys want to game played of? I got to try it for the first time. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I'm just too vanilla in my games, guys. I, if once I had mods, I'm like, where am I? I don't know. They're good, though. They add definitely an experience, yes. I'm just not used to it because I'm so used to the games in er original forms. Uh. Oh. oh my gosh, it's been three hours of stream. Well, today's gonna be a shorter stream because I started later. Also, probably YouTube streams are gonna be a shorter time too, to be honest. I stream longer on Twitch, but YouTube is like, my way to just chill. Oh yeah. Fishy! It's almost 9 o'clock. Fishes don't come! Ah, oh, sweet. Trash. I love trash. Trash is my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing in Honkai Star Rail. It's my favorite here as well. Oh my goodness. I have yet to dig into the trash cans yet in this game as well. Well, I mean, what's in this gameplay. But I'd rather not. <laughs> no, thank you. Come on, fish. Fishy! Fishy! Okay. I can probably sell the trash too, to be honest. Might as well. Bro, why is it that game developers love being the characters obsessed with trash? Star Rail, Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's like trash is a need. It's like if you don't have trash in a game, what are you doing? Also, I'm so not used to those YouTube emotes. I'm like, bro, YouTube emotes, please. Why you like this? It is one thing I like to request from YouTube. Can we please have more diverse emotes? Because there are some emotes that work so well, and there's also some that I'm like, eh. Make it better. Make it better, YouTube. YouTube, do better! I want more emotes to express myself in! Especially international streams where I cannot say words! <laughs> If I go to the international stream, like say a Japanese stream, I can't really speak to them in Japanese. So I need a- uh oh. <laughs> this guy really blocked me. He's like, devil, get out of my way. It's like, I'm fishing, bruh. I'm a fishing fisher. Ooh, it's getting really late though. I hope I can make it. If you want to go around me, you're more than welcome to. Yikes! Ah, I got so much trash. I want a fish, because fish would definitely sell more in profit. Ooh! I think if I get a better fishing rod, it makes fishing easier, if I remember correctly. But I'd rather get a backpack first. Oh my god, there's so many herrings! <laughs> I, I know I should probably keep stuff for the community center. But I need money, first of all. That's, that, that's like the main objective. I need money. Your girl's a little bit broke right now. Oh, did I not get it? Oh, I must have overreacted. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Why is it bouncing? Done. Halibut. Oh, I should stop. I should stop. I'm actually full. Run! I'm actually low on energy as well. I should run. Definitely could use a weapon emo. A weapon emo. <laughs> what would you use that for? Is my question. What are you gonna use a weapon for, Deluxe? Are you gonna use it for 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 good, right? Not bad. Yeah, clearly, clearly. Uh oh, it's almost midnight. I should run. I am running, but I'm not gonna make it. I'm running.
running. I am running. Oh, fishing, 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 fishing. Yes, I'm selling trash. That trash can be used for money. I hope I have enough for a thousand. I think it should be plenty. Hopefully, theoretically. Sweet! I've loaded up faster in, in, in fishing than I ever did. Oh, so close. 700. I need one more day and I can get the thousand. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> For holy justice! Yeah, and when is that? <laughs> when is that holy justice? Oh, sweet! My turn, my parsnips are ready. Uh, watering can. Water, water. I need to build a well nearby. I can't keep running to the water area. It's just so tedious. Ooh! Running out of water. Ooh, just in time. I just ran out of water. Nice! If only I had extra seeds to plant, that would be nice. Nice again to bed. Barely! <laughs> the stress of a started valley isn't the gardening. It's stress of getting to bed before you collapse. Because if you collapse, they take your money, and I don't want that. I need all my money, please, and thank you. Oh, I did not check on the chickens. I think they might need food. I have not checked on Sana and Vinny in my farming game in a hot second. Let me just go check on that. Hello! This new farm isn't that bad for the update. It's not that bad. It just feels weird because they don't give you crops automatically. Instead, they give you the chicken farm. What do you mean? Hey, that's a lot faster than getting it later in the game. Props to that. So many eggs! <laughs> I probably should have been collecting. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm running low in space. Okay. I need to go... I'm gonna go sell these, and then I should have enough for the backpack. Ooh, gold egg. I need that. Uh, Minerals... Seafood, foraging. I'll put it in here for now. And I'm gonna go set the rest. Uh, using the weapon emo depends on the heretic actions that need to be stopped. Juggling types. <laughs> for legal reasons, that is a joke. For heretic actions, how does that, what does that mean? What does that mean? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I, I still need to get a weapon emo in general for my choice in general. I don't have one yet. It's a thing where I'm debating what I want for a weapon, theoretically. If I want a gun, if I want a hammer. I know people joke around a bazooka. That'd be funny. So it really just depends. Let me in! <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! Oh, I'm gonna go talk to Shane! Shane, wait! Wait! I don't know why you're talking to me. Leave me alone! I just want to talk. Also, how old is Alec? Because he said he was a high school quarterback star. Does that mean they're adults then in that case? Okay, if I sell these, I should have enough. Okay, yay! I can finally afford the backpack. Da -da 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 you get the large pack. The inventory space increases to 24. Oh, thank gosh. Thank you so much. I needed that. Oh my gosh. It's dangerous to go alone to take this. I do need that backpack though, for real. It was a struggle dealing with one row of storage. It was actually really bad. Uh, so far, I haven't seen too much to question about the update yet. Um, the farm is not too bad. I haven't seen anything else besides that. I might have to just quote unquote play a little bit more to understand what's going on. But it, it's also nice to just come back to start a valley. Because it's such a nice, wholesome game to just relax and chill out in. And again, like, I got to go to the Stardew Valley concert back about a month ago, and hearing that music just brought back pure nostalgia that makes me want to play this game again. And hearing all the music from the game from the concert is just... It's just so good. You just forget just how nice the music in this game is. Hi, Benny. Very good concert, by the way. Um, I think most of the Stardew Valley concerts that are on tour right now are basically sold out. They've had to expand on multiple dates, too. Which is good, because that means that more people can watch it, which is nice. That was, that's really nice to see. Hello there! You know, I should probably buy some seeds from... from Pierre. I just thought about it. 
At least now I don't have to worry about storage space. That's good. Oh, and she also went to check out the mines as well. Ooh. Ooh. I have so many of the possibilities now because my backpack is full. Let me out! Um, let me go sell these two and I'm gonna buy some seeds. And that'd be nice. Hi, Miguel. I already talked to you earlier. Oh, I can't sell them. Okay. Um, I just sold some parsnips. Uh... Let's buy more of them. And then... Ooh, potato seeds. I'm busy using all my money, but it doesn't matter because I got a backpack now. <laughs> I got a backpack now. I don't care. Let me see what this quest requires. Needs carp on a project I'm working on. Eh, it's fine. A rocket launcher weapon would be cool. More powerful than a half gun, less common. See, that would be really cool. How would it look on emote size is a question, Birch. Because it has to make sense that it looks like a rocket launcher. Because it looks like a regular, like, gun. It'd be like, oh, it's just a gun. It has to, like, mix his appearance wise. But a rocket launcher would be a very good idea. Maybe, if anything, it'd be two emotes. One is the rocket actually launching, and one is the rocket launcher itself. <laughs> it's a one-two emote. It's a two emote part. You have to have both parts to work. You need both emotes. You can't have one. You gotta have them all. Okay, so I need to plant my parsnips. Actually, when do I get to make sprinklers? More farming, I see. I was wondering when I get to start farming, but uh, start the sprinkler system. Because that would really help a lot, because I can't keep watering. Okay, so that's that side. And then I do want to plant my potatoes as well, because potatoes will grow multiple times. Uh, potatoes will put a 2 by 3 That's not why I wanted it. Okay, 2 by 3 Nice. Perfectly not. Oh, gosh. I know Stardew Valley, the whole point of the concept is to farm. But farm is, like, the least thing I'll do in this game. I'd rather go mining. That is that one. This is seafood, so that goes over there. I could technically sell these. And then... These are fine. Oh, I gotta collect the rest of the eggs from the area. Right, 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 right. Hi, Shana. Hi, baby. I could also buy some more animals as well if I wanted to. An egg! An egg! <laughs> An egg! An egg! I'm gonna save these for the Autumn Festival later on, where we have to do the booze. Which, again, food doesn't rot in this game, luckily, so I'm just gonna save them. I should make another chest eventually. I should. Also, I'm gonna get rid of this tree. Tree, go away! Go away, tree! Nice thinking on the two emo combo there. Hmm. I have been thinking about getting more emotes like I mentioned before. I've been meaning to. It's just that my emote artist has been pretty busy right now to commission. So I'm waiting on them to see when they're available to commission and then get some emotes. Because it'll be nice. I've been trying to save to get some more emotes too, by the way. So that's been in the plan. We've just been chilling and waiting. Hopefully we get them. In sometime this year. <laughs> it might not be now, but it'll be sometime later. Uh, it's 2.20. Let's go check out the mines. Yeah, I haven't spent too much time in the mines. So I do want to go harvest in there. Especially with all the geostones and the stone I can get and copper. I would love to grab some of that. Oh, and these two. Whoop. Nice. Okay. I'm going to the mines. Go slay some 10 slimes. And we're good to go. Oh, yeah. Hi, Demetrius. <laughs> I can't believe I called you Phil earlier. I do apologize. I'm sorry. I don't know names. I'm bad with names. Oh, I do need this. If I grab the wild horseradish, I can craft some spring seeds too if I don't need a bunny. And that's a lot cheaper. Whoops. Fifth floor! Now, the only catch is how much energy will I have because I already used a quarter of it. Oh, ladder! If I see the ladder, I'm gonna take it. The faster I get down these floors, the better. Wow! Now 
that I have the space, I can go run around freely. I mean, obviously it's nice to get the full backpack, yes. But it's gonna take us a while to get there, so I'd rather just, you know, be running to get there eventually. Is it nice to see that's alive? Oh, no, never mind, it's a topaz. Never mind. I know one of these stones is a stone crab, I remember it. So I gotta be careful with that one, because that one gets really annoying. Hello, ladder! <laughs> the most tedious thing in this game is finding the ladder, which is oh so fun. Oh, there's a ladder. Perfect. Oh, there's a ladder right there. I'm gonna slay this slide though, because I've yet to. <laughs> Give me a second. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! Oh, this thing sucks. <laughs> oh, this thing sucks. I'm gonna eat a- no, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat daffodil. Wait, daffodil does nothing. Never mind. I, I, I don't want to eat the wall of horseradish because I want to save that. I don't have any right now. So I want to just save that for later. I'm running low on energy though. That's not nice. I might just have to eat it, unfortunately. It's, it's just the unfortunate truth, so I'm just gonna have to eat it. Because I'm about to eat floor. They only save every increment of five. Oh, ladder! Eat! No, 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 no. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. I can eat a cave carrot. That is totally fine. That did something. Oh! Oh, ba, 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 ba. Almost died there. <laughs> Slimes in the early game are very dangerous. I think I hang out with Mish too much to say hi, Papa. Oh, it's the mole. You don't want to deal with that right now. Ladder, 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 ladder. Oh, oh, oh! Nope, 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 nope. Don't need that. Don't want that. Not my problem. Don't need that. I don't care. You die eventually. <laughs> Please perish. Ooh, getting tired again. Don't have anything to eat except this. It is what it is. Eat the sussy algae you got for the mine. Means to survive. I just need I need the tenth floor. Once I get the tenth floor, we're good to go. Seventeen. Okay, seventeen health. Seventeen? 13, okay. 11. I'm gonna have to eat the horseradish, aren't I? Yep. Yeah. I really didn't want to, but I'm gonna have to because I'm out of energy. It's not even that much to, honestly. But I need to find it because I don't want to move forward without it. Where is it? Oh, yeah! Thank you! Oh my god, I finally got my first pair of boots in the game, kids! I got my boots, kids! Yeah. Good timing, too. I'm running low on, uh, on energy. <laughs> Give me some boots, please, and thank you. As long as I don't interact with anything, I should be fine to survive and run back home. Oh, there's a horse radish up there. Ugh, that's so far. Just don't interact, Civil, and you can make it home just fine. Just don't interact. Let me out! Let me out! Oh, Slimus! Linus lore! Sounds like those raccoons are back again! Filthy varmints! What's up? I need you up at the right moment! Can you do an old man a favor and go around the corner and screw up those raccoons for me? You've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. But it's not a raccoon. It's our good friend Linus. It was me. I'm sorry. It's Linus. 
I find a lot of hot fresh food in these cans that they'll go to waste if I don't take them. He did something wrong with what I'm doing? What does this mean? What does that mean? <laughs> yes, it's disgusting. Oh, I think it means like whatever we say to him is gonna matter in the future. Uh, yes, it's disgusting. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Yes, it's illegal. That's George's private property. No, it's not, but you should get a job without leeching off of others. <laughs> All of these are really bad choices, if I'll be honest. All of these are pretty bad. Um, because it's gross, yeah, but he is homeless, quote unquote. He can't really do much about it, so. Is it shame for food to go to waste? Yes. But it also there's other ways of going through this, if you know what I mean. Um, I like, it's definitely soon to get a job. The last one's nice, but I think it could have been worded a lot better. I'll say no, it's a shame for food to go to waste, because that's a lot nicer. Thanks, Sybil. I knew you were an open mind in person. Thanks! Now, if only we stop scaring the dialogue, you can read this a lot better. You can go on home. I probably don't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. See, I say that, but. But I see this. They don't rummage in George's, but you rummage in the saloon. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. Wait! I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure I dip in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Aww. Now, I don't know if I remember the lore or not on how Linus became Linus. But everybody is so sweet. Everybody's sweet. Mwah. They're very sweet. I'm very happy to care for the people. And I think Gus is really, really considerate as well. The fact that he gave food for Linus. That is a very kind of him to do. I really do appreciate that. Let's go run back! <laughs> as much as I appreciate it, we gotta go run back. I am... I am, uh... It's getting late and I have no money. I need to get some rest. But at least we got our big backpacks. I'm very happy about that. I'm generally really happy because... We've been wanting that backpack for a while, so yay! Uh, anything I can sell while I'm here. Go and tell us more about it. Go and tell us more about it. Okay, I don't want to touch those in that case. Uh, I need an. I think I need another chest for the monster items. For like monster loot. I need 50. Okay. Go to my chest and grab. <coughs> Not that one. <coughs> 50 wood. Check. Okay. Now we're gonna make a chest. We'll place it over here. And this is gonna be our. Let me see. This is going to be green because it stands for our foresting. Green. And this is going to be... <coughs> this is going to be mineral, so black. Sorry. And then this is going to be blue for the sea. And this will be red for monster goods. Like something like this and something like that. And then minerals go over here. I'll say these to go meet Gunther. But I'll put these in in the meantime. Yeah. Put those in here for the meantime. Okay, that's taking too long. Eh. Uh, perfect. Okay, let's get some rest. I don't know if I was able to sell anything, but it's fine. I was able to spend what I wanted. Nice! I like a level one farming. Can and hoe proficiency. Nice. We got a scarecrow recipe and basic fertilizer. I got mining as well to make a cherry bomb. Honestly, bombs are very useful in the mines. I should probably start crafting those. <laughs> This makes stuff go a whole lot easier. Okay. Uh, to make this, I need one coal, 20 fibers, and 50 wood. Oh, I can make that really easily. I have all the ingredients. Are these ready? Nice! Don't eat the carrot! <laughs> Don't eat it. I can use that for mining later. Um, Do I have anything I can use for... Seeds? No. Okay, that's fine. 
Oh, what I wouldn't get for a sprinkler system. Did it not give me one yet? Uh, eventually, sprinkler system will come to play. Eventually. They want me to enjoy the game to its full maximum first. Also, when do I get my pet? Because it's been nine days. I thought the pet would come around now. But I haven't seen it yet, which is interesting. Oh, running along water. <laughs> yep, I knew it. I was like, oh, I gotta run along water, aren't I? Out of curiosity, can I... Oh, that makes it so much easier. I should've just been doing that this entire time. I should've just ran through the chicken coop. What? The more you know. Again, this is a whole new layout for me because this is one of the new maps they gave for Stardew Valley. So it's something I'm like, what? Okay, so I already watered the potatoes. I'm watering these. I watered those. Carrots are harvested. Gotta go meet Gunter about this. Uh, Willie has a new item in stock. It looks fishing pole and it's some bait you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. Thank you! Okay, so it's 7.30. We sold that. Mine's not that bad, but I don't want to risk it without better stuff, I want to say. But also, we probably go mining more in general. Because mining can really get some good items. That we can sell to get riches off of. But also, let me go sell my Gunther's, actually, to get rid of some of the stuff. That way, you can sell the leftovers. Excuse me! Don't need any more... How do you call it? We don't need any more... Seeds? Because I already planted multiples, and they're gonna sell, like, continuously from someone I see. So I don't gotta worry about that. Oh, uh, good thought. Open at 8 o'clock. Perfect! Hello! Asmal! Not a single piece in the entire collection. <laughs> Who was this collected, by the way? Did we ever get to meet him? They collected a red off for their stuff? What's this? You found something? Let me see. Ask nicely. Remarkable! It's very old! <laughs> I love to study this in greater detail, but it's yours! Hmm, I got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts and minerals to the museum? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together! Who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way! Woo! Think about it, will you? Sounds like a plan! If you decide to donate, just bring the office to the front desk! Oh, well, you're in luck, and I do have stuff to give to you! Excuse me. Hello. Donate to museum. One right here. Two right here. There you go. It's a good start for now since we just started. So good start, good start. And now I can sell the rest of them for money. Haha. -ha! Okay, I'm clicking on it. <laughs> Archaeology. Oh sweet, two fifty. I got money out of that. Uh, how to win friends, initiation, forge head. Actually, I think I can give the stone to Sebastian as well if I remember correctly. The only catch is that Sebastian never leaves the house, so it's gonna be very annoying. What will you want? Go away! Okay, I'm leaving! <laughs> she doesn't like me! I, you know, I'll be honest, so does Zane, not in a mean way. I don't get why people like Shane. Because Shane is so mean, and it does get better, yes. But still, it's like, eh. Uh, eh. Uh. <laughs> Maybe it's just the whole, like, era where he grows as a character, I guess. But I don't know, I don't know, he's still kinda mean. Sebastian, did you step out of your house yet? <laughs> Are you outside? Did you leave? He's in bed! <laughs> I can't even go to him. Air! So we'll be starting. Ah, don't be doing the starting. Hi, Air! 1.6 out. Are you gonna play? Are you gonna play Stardew Valley 1.6? Join us. Join us in the Stardew Valley craze. Join us. <laughs> When one of us plays, we all play. Well, to be fair, I chose to play today because I didn't know what to play right now. But, hey, that's not bad. I'm really enjoying Stardew Valley. It brings pure nostalgia. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, no! Done! Okay, good. I've never played Stardew? You played Baldur's Gate 3, but you never played Stardew? Air, I'm like slightly judging right now. 
Because the game always goes on sale. Air. 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 Sorry, I'm coming over here. You even told me you didn't play? Whoops. <laughs> you didn't play? How dare you? Oh, that, that ruined my surprise. I need to label my buttons. <laughs> you didn't play? Can't believe you played Baldur's Gate 3 and not that. Rip. Also, no worries, Ash. Thanks so much for dropping on in. I really do appreciate it. Everybody say goodnight to Ash. They're gonna go to rest now. Good night, Ash. Night, 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 night. Uh, yes, I mean, yeah. Rest, rest, well. Thanks so much for being here on the YouTube side. Again, I do stream only once a week, but if you don't want to catch my other updates and stuff, Ash, you might want to check out my socials. Oh, these suck. But yes, have a good night, Ash. Oh, yes, I mean, yeah. I don't like this. They suck! Oh my god, can you perish, please? Can you perish, please? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, I might just die. I might just die. I might just die. Let me out! I might just leave. I'm, just, I'm gonna leave. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm tempted to leave, but I'm almost done as well. Perish! Only Terraria for a bit? That's more than me. I never actually played Terraria. I have the game, but I have not played that game. Cause I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, eh, for Terraria. It's just 2D Minecraft. But also, like, I don't really play games like that. I don't really play Minecraft either. Ah! He's angry! <laughs> Give me your club. <laughs> Give me your weapon. <laughs> it's better than my sword. <laughs> I'm taking his weapon. I need to survive. That was a horrifying experience. I hope I never experience that again. Oh, uh, wow. What do you mean it's different? No, it's not. It's basically the same thing. It's, it's the same thing. Oh, jeez. I'm eating a carrot. I'm eating a carrot. I'm not risking this. I ain't risking this biscuit, man. And also, I'm not a farmer. Look, I'm not. This is a farming game. Do you see what I'm dealing with right now? <laughs> you don't have to farm in Stardew to, be a, to play the game. I'm literally in the mines mining because I need money. <laughs> also, I'm stealing torches because I don't have any. So my torches now. These are my torches. Because I ain't got enough for them. My torches. My torches. My torches. <laughs> my torches. <laughs> At least I have backpack space. I'm not a miner. But don't worry. If you're not a miner or a farmer, you can be a battler. Go and defeat some slimes, why don't you? See? Go battle slimes. Have fun. Oh my god, we're gonna whack a bug. Bet! Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Come at me! Come at me! Come at me, man! Ha ha! If you can't do mining, go farming. If you can't do farming, do mining. If you can't do either, go battling. Oh, frick you, frick you, frick you, frick you. Oh, frick you. I got me distracted. I'm a pacifist smile. Oh my god. You can be a pacifist, but you want to live in these mines, you gotta defeat some stuff, man. <laughs> if you want to survive the next day, air, you gotta do what you gotta do. And listen, it's bugs. As somebody who doesn't like bugs, it's fine. I don't like bugs, so I'd rather eat them. Yeah. Because I don't like them. Bugs suck. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm running low on energy and I have yet to find the staircase. Come on, Air, join us! Especially with the newest update that came out, which is apparently the final update of Stardew Valley. Now you don't have to worry about updates because you can just play the game wholeheartedly. And if you want to play with mods too, there's some really good mod packs for Stardew Valley where you can change the appearance of their profiles, which is really cool. You can also add like, um, you can also add like Final Fantasy mods, you can also add like game, other game mods to add to experience, so you have options. Oh my god, is that thing. Thank you! Ding! I was wondering when I would see that magical light. <laughs> well, I might as well go harvesting while I'm waiting. Because I don't get to harvest too often. Oh, look, stairs! Oh, uh, I was going to say if I can make it to the next stairwell, but I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Let's not play. Hey, Sybil, how much can you go into mines without dying? No, thank you. Were you a Skyrim player before? Do I look like a Skyrim player? <laughs> I never played Skyrim, so no. I never played the game. Sky uh, no, I never played the game Skyrim. Why do you ask? 
Oh, because Skyrim has a lot of mods, huh? Is that why you were saying it? Because, yeah, I didn't play Skyrim. That is not my cup of tea, but I've seen people playing it. And what I do know about the game is that a lot of people do the mods in there, which I get it. Hi, Manu! It's 5.30, I'm already pre-exhausted. That's so sad. You got some ideas to sleep on. I'm assuming when I say something like this, it means we're about to level up. That's really good. Just a thought? That's concerning. <laughs> whenever, whenever Aaron's like, just a thought, I'm like, huh? Huh? What are you talking about? Also, wait, I have air here. Air! Did you see the news? Did you see the news, air? What happened yesterday? Did you see the news? I did! Okay! I didn't know if I could mention it or not because I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> If you guys don't know TODR, basically mine and Air and another friend's favorite manga, or not manga, favorite artists went to the other side, unfortunately. And we're sad about it because they worked on really cool games that we liked as well, and I'm very sad about it. Wah. I didn't want to mention it either. I'm not saying it exactly. I'm not saying it exactly because I don't want to make it to a Debbie Downer, but I just want to ask it to Air because I don't get to see Air too often. So I'm like, Air, why have you here? I want to ask about this news. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm very upsetty spaghetti about that too. And anyway, see, I've been talking, I was talking about it earlier. I really want to play old games on YouTube. Like I think on YouTube, I want to do streams that I'm not able to do on Twitch. Obviously, I'm playing Stardew Valley, which you can't play on Twitch, but it's because I want to try to do an update. Uh, um, but I want to play games on here that I'm not able to do on YouTube, per se. Like, I want to play, like, my GMBGs, like, Atelier, the Tales of Older Games, stuff like that. Unless I feel like I want to do it on Twitch. That's totally fine. But if I have options where I'm like, I don't know if this is for Twitch, I'm fine doing it on this side as well. But I want to play the Tales of Games, because Tales of Games are my favorite. And I was be watching, um... I was re-watching gameplay from Tales of Symphonia and Dawn of the World, which is not the best Tales of game. Do not try it. But I was trying to remember why exactly I did not like that game. And I look back and I'm like, ah, I see why I don't like this game. Puppy! Hi, Sybil. You see this dog here? Yes, I do. It's a doggy! I found it sitting outside the entrance of your farm and it gets astray. Poor thing. Doggy! It seems like this place you can take this farm case and do the good dog. Yes, obviously. I will name you Snoopy. Snoopy. It doesn't look like Snoopy, but listen, Snoopy is my my old creature, and I love him. So yeah. On a bag is gonna be Snoopy, my favorite dog character, obviously. Uh, Robin here knows a lot of stones scattered around your farm. And you have a surplus, you have, might have considered me build a wall for you. Walls be placed all over your farm and serve as a convenient place to be for your watering can. Just swing by with a thousand gold and seventy-five stone. You think I have either? Nice try. Uh, but yeah, I didn't want to mention it either. Hearts for civil and air, good grieving to you guys. I'm still in pain. I'm in pain because I didn't realize that would happen. I'm like, man, man, I should really play a Tales of game, but like, yeah. Cry. But yeah, speaking about Tales of Symphonia, it's all new world. I was trying to remember this whole time why I didn't like the game, quote unquote. Because I was like, oh yeah, I didn't like the game because like it's not the main cast. But I'm like, wait, but Tales of Symphonia Dawn New World is nice because it has um it has better graphics. I'm like, it should be a good game. And then I look back in the game features of Tales of Symphonia Dawn New World. This game came out on PlayStation on a Wii. I played it on the Wii. But I remember why I didn't like it. It's because they added so many new features that got removed soon after. So like they add like each character had like an element that that you know, that connects to them. It's like, Amiel was darkness, Marta was light, Sheena was like, wind, uh, Regal was like, ice or water, Janus was either ice or water as well, I think Lloyd was like, fire, or that might have been rain, Colette was light, and I was like, why are they connected to the elements? And another feature too was the fact that the battle system was a little bit different than it was in the original Tales of games as well. And don't get me started on the monster system. I really did not get that monster system. And tell us the phone in the world, they added a system where you can go and like bond with a monster you fight against, have it as your party member. And you can use them as a party member if you don't want to use your uh, if you don't want to use your character members. Which I think is a weird add-on for me, to be honest, is that they added that. Because I don't know, maybe it's a way so that we have different elements. But it was just really confusing. I, I truly didn't get it. 
I don't know some story. I didn't need it. I didn't need the story. Voice acting was okay. Eh? I'm just not used to the voice acting from a meal and I was like, huh? And it also, it's like mostly gaggy. There's a lot of gags going on until the Symphonia Dawn of the World that I quite didn't understand. It's like, hmm. It's still a good game though. I can see the appeal of it because again, the graphics were amazing. They had no cast of characters. The lore. Seeing the old characters we've seen in Tales of Symphonia, the original game. It's nice. But also, I can see why it was not everybody's favorite. Like, I, I can see why. Because there were just so many features in there that didn't move over to the other games after. And it's understandable because I would not want to play a game with those elemental features. It would just confuse me to the heck. And I played that game when I was younger when it first came out in Best Buy. Haha. -ha. It was just so complicated. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'd rather... Like, if I had to choose any game to get a remake from the Tales of series, I would much... I would much rather want Tales of, Tales of Abyss remake rather than a Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the World remake. Just because Tales of Abyss is such an amazing game, but yet, there's not a lot of people that do it justice and say that it's a favorite game because they're not aware how good of it it is. You got characters like Luke, Guy, Natasha, and uh, uh, whatever her name is, Natasha, whatever her name is, uh, Jude, Jude, sorry, Jade, <laughs> Jade, uh, Jade, Tear, Anise. You got cool characters like that, and people just forgot their actual characters. And the story goes ham in Abyss as well. Abyss has a really good story. I'm just waiting for a remake. And we're not gonna get any more Tales of New Games for a while. I would have a Tales of Remake game. Cause that would be nice. If they can remake slash report Tales of Symphonia onto the Switch, they can definitely do it for Tales of Abyss. Cause that would be nice. Or even like the older games as well. Like I would love to see like Tales of Legenia, Tales of Destiny, that would be great. Final developers, hear me out. <laughs> Final developers hearing right now are like civil. I don't know if you know what I don't know if you know what you're talking about. Me sitting here like I know what I'm talking about. Do you know what you're talking about? I also want to see older games as well get remade too. There's this really old quote unquote Bandai game that's based on music. I talked about it before. I eventually want to play it on stream. But it's this very old quote unquote music game called Eternal Sonata, which I really want to play because I I really want to play the game as a kid and never get to play as a kid. So now using my big kid money, I want to play it and show you guys why it's a good game. And it's from Bandai. So again, same people made tells of games. It would be so nice, Eternal Sonata. Ugh! And here's the thing too. I was on this whole binge last night. Also while I was like the stream, I was watching YouTube videos. Of this person that played these old games. I'm like, man! Why don't they make games like this nowadays? Like, like the Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the World. And Eternal Sonata. Like, Eternal Sonata is such a good game. I would love to stream that and be like, Look kids, look at this game! Cause it's so good! They never made, or never made remakes and remasters, huh? The only one they quote unquote did was for Tales of Symphonia, but that's mostly a report. And then I guess you could technically count Vesperia Definitive Edition because they remade the graphics on that as well, including the DLC too. But it's not too much of a remake per se from the older games. Also, Civil Sonata! Ah! I know! Eternal Sonata! I really want to play Eternal Sonata. I might just play that one like on stream or something. Like on Twitch or something, because that's such a good game. And I know people on the Twitch side that know that game per se, so I will stream it over there. I know that sounds like a very niche game, I should play it on YouTube, yes. But I feel like it'd be, it's just, it's just easier on, on Twitch because, again, I know people over there that know the game that I feel like would love it. And if they don't know it, then I'll just be like, well, okay. I'll try to see if I can multi-stream that one, but multi-stream has not been a good friend to me as of the past couple of weeks. But I'll love to do that one because that's such a good game. It's such an amazing game. I love Eternal Sonata. And when I was watching the videos yesterday and how Eternal Sonata is played, the battle features are so interesting! Ah, leave me alone! Ah, leave me alone! Ah, leave me alone! Ah! Ah! Leave me alone! Eee! You got something to sleep on! Great! Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, frick! Oh, he evolved. And now you're murdered. Sounds pretty decent, your voice volume and sound audio. Oh, thank you! I know somebody in chat mentioned earlier that my mic was peaking, so I hope it sounds decent now. I, I made my sound audio sound fine when I'm on the Twitch side. I don't know if the YouTube side affected it. So thank you! Eh, you should play Eternal Sonata! For the sake of nostalgia! And now we have someone to talk about the game with! 
I'm gonna try to force my friend Moonlight Sonata. If you guys don't know my friend Sonata, uh, Moonlight Sana, I'm gonna try to force Sana to play it as well because Sana also loves Tales of Games. So I feel like if Sana likes Tales of Games, you guys like the Tales of series from Bandai, you guys would definitely enjoy Eternal Sonata. It's a really good game. It's definitely old for its time. The game came out like 2007, 2008. But the graphics of that game feels like it should have came out this year or something. It's just so good. Because what, Tales of Symphonia, when did that game come out? It came out almost the same year as Eternal Sonata. But Eternal Sonata looks better graphic, if I'll be honest. I like the graphics of that one. And as a music geek, it's definitely a game I would love. So, yeah. Eternal Sonata gameplay, about to set up soon. <laughs> I'll see about it. I'm almost done with Haven, I think, I want to say. So once I finish Haven, I have room for another game. And then once I'm done with Reverse 1999 Chapter 5, I have room for another game as well. So, I'll try to schedule an old game. Because I think at this point, my year streaming career, I've been three years in. I kind of want to start doing games that I'm not, I'm like, I've been scared to stream, that I want to stream. Because I'm just like, man, I've been so scared to stream a tail I've been so scared to stream this old game called Eternal Sonata. But I see people nowadays that have been so open to stream these old games. I'm like, well, if they can do it, why can't I? So, like, I'm going to stream these old games. Maybe one day I'll show you this old game that I really wanted to play when I was a child called Eternal, or called uh, Fragile Dreams. That game, I watched the gameplay that one as well. It's super spooky. But man, it was the epitome of like a cool JRPG. Ah, oh, man, I'm at the 17th floor. Nope, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running, 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 I'm running. Leave me alone! Sweet, leaving at 420. Nice. Also, this will probably be the last in-game day I do for Stardew Valley. I gotta get ready for the watch party later tonight. I make some food. Which is fine. We did a good amount of um, hours, I would say, playing Stardew Valley. And I kind of feel like I have, like, an idea of what I want to do for YouTube streams. It's not going to be solely Stardew Valley. It's not going to be solely Stardew Valley. I'm definitely going to, like, mess around playing some old games here as well. But it's definitely nice to just chill out and play a game that's, like, no pressure. I'm out of energy. All I can do is sleep. There's just so many games to play through the nostalgia, not enough time. There is time, you just gotta make it. You just gotta make time, unfortunately. That's the hard thing. There's so little time, but there is time. You just gotta, like, schedule out that time, unfortunately. And that's hard, because we do have a lot of things we wanna do. Like, games, we gotta go and, like... We gotta go and, like, go outside, do some work. So we're always busy with something. Uh, speaking of a watch party, I got a shower. I just got home. Oh, a guide. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope work went well for you here. Yeah, no worries if you gotta go shower. I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna slowly call it because I should probably get ready as well. Let me see. Do I have anything I want to sell? Not anything I have to sell per se, but definitely gonna stock some stuff up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Monster loot. I have a good amount of monster loot. And then some wood and some stone I'm good at. Yeah! Are you gonna join us with Treasure Planet later? We're gonna watch Treasure Planet later in Discord server. You guys wanna join us? It's a very good movie. Uh, let me go over here. I gotta do my second job. I eat Honkai. <laughs> mood. Honestly, mood. I need to check out my dailies as well. I have to do it when I'm not streaming movies and stuff on on the Discord. Because I don't wanna get distracted. I don't wanna lag the stream. Mm, luckily, it's just one movie today. So once we're done with it, we can go do our other stuff as well. Love one combat! Nice! I love it up! I got bug steak. <laughs> nice! Did I sell anything? That potato was 304! Oh, I sold eggs as well. I was like, what? How is that egg? How is that potato worth everything else? Moon though. I'll probably call it here in that case. Cause, yeah, I need to go get ready. I just say that YouTube streams are gonna be a little bit shorter than what I usually do. Oh, wait! Let's check out the book sellers real fast. The book sellers in town. That's a new update. We'll check out the bookseller, and then we'll quote-unquote sleep on it, and then we'll be good. Because I want to see the bookseller. That's a new DLC. Not DLC. It's a new update they added to the game, because I've never seen that before. Who's the bookseller? That's a new person, because I just played this game back in February to check out updates and stuff. The bookseller is someone new. Now, where would they be? Bookseller, 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 bookseller. That is so interesting! Where would they be, bookseller? 
Jojo Marks over there. That's over there. Where's the bookseller? Yeah, uh, yeah, to your voice sounding good as someone is not an auto fail and copy on different games, which we can use your streams that are copy kind. Yeah! I just give you a heads up that again, it'll be different content because again, it'll be most like JRPGs and puzzle games and stuff like that. So I hope you guys understand that. But well, definitely a good way to just be to like whine and, be, and re rewind. Chill and relax. Hmm. Okay, this is the bookseller is somewhere around here. Are they up here? Oh, that's a bookseller. Hello. Marcelo's books at your service. Interesting. Okay, so this is a new feature to add it to Stardew Valley. Finally, we got some things for the new update. So if you guys ever want to update your experience, but you guys don't want to do the tedious stuff, you can buy books and they can give you experience. Oh. Oh, there's a book that lets you run faster. There's a book on speed when you ride on a horse. You now run a lot faster with your grasses and crops. You now see the value of your items. That's useful. Wait, these are actually really useful. Interesting. So that's a new update they have on here. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Viseria is $5 on Steam, by the way. I already played Viseria! <laughs> I already played Viseria, Air. I don't need it again. Are, are you saying that because you want me to buy you the game? Five bucks in my Air at Tales of Viseria game? Bet. I mean, to be fair, if you don't have the game, I would have been very disappointed. Uh, no issues on the games due to me being here for the civil experience, and I appreciate that. Again, I totally get, like, again, like, people come for the games as well. But if you guys just want to chill out with just, you know, just me, with no matter what games I'm playing, I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna go water these, and I'll sleep on it, then we'll end there. Because I do want to show you guys one more thing before I end off, too. I want to show you guys what's gonna be expected on the Twitch side as well. Because that'd be really nice. Uh, ba 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 I'm gonna show you guys a little surprise since you guys came to watch the YouTube stream. That I've been setting up for the past week, so... Little sneaky sneaky. If you guys are also Discord boosters on my Discord server, you guys got the sneak peek already. But here's some little asterisk features as well, I'll show later. Let me finish watering. Okay. Uh, I have it on my PS4. Do you want it on Steam? <laughs> All the tales of on Steam are in sale for the hysteria. Honestly, good. Zysteria is not a good game. I would I would honestly be surprised. Even, wait, even Tales of Arise? Because that's one of the newer games. If that game's on sale, I would be surprised. Because that thing barely goes on sale as one of the newer ones. Good! Good! It's not on sale! I don't like Zysteria! It's one of the ones besides Tales of uh, Dawn of the World I really don't like, so I'm okay with that. Arise, Symphonia, Vespi. Those are the ones that are on sale. Oh, Vesperia obviously makes sense. Vesperia is going to be really cheap. Symphonia I have as well. I've yet to play it because I've been watching Bortissimo playing it. And I already played a rise with the DLC, so I'm good on that. Blowing my nose one last time before I end stream. I'll just sleep on this one, honestly. So that I can save. I just want to see the bookmaster. And sweet, I made money! Nice! Ooh. Because the only way to save is if you sleep, unless there's another way to save, but I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a save unless you sleep, so I have to sleep on that, which is okay. Snoopy Sanya Bueni! I'm very happy with my farm so far. I'm definitely really happy with how it's coming out. Um, foraging and fishing are one of my highest skills. That's funny. Um, not talking to anybody. I've not been too close to talking to anybody, which is surprising. Okay, I'm gonna exit to the title. And I'm gonna do this real fast. <laughs> the best thing about the game is the little Easter eggs. Yeah! Um, I really enjoyed, uh, I really did enjoy Stardew Valley. The 1.6 looked amazing. Now given, I've only experienced 10 days of the game so far. But it's been, it's been really good. I think it's been really good. So with that said, I'm gonna close up the game. And then I'm gonna jump over here so people know that we're ending. Now given, the only thing is that I can't... 
I can't raid, so we're just gonna be chilling here. But yeah, thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Oh, before we do go, obviously, I do want to show you guys a little surprises to add to stream. Um, it's more so like some stuff, mostly for the Twitch side. But if you guys want to check out the stuff I added on in general, I added some stuff like this. I kind of spoiled earlier. Hi! <laughs> I finally added a zoom, so that's nice. I added two more of my scenes. So whenever I'm like, I gotta ju uh, judge, I'm like, eh. Eh. We got a little zoom on there. And I added this really cool thing I added on here. This one I'm really excited for. This one I'm excited for. It's mostly on the Twitch side. But like, this one I'm really excited for you guys to, to experience. I'm trying to figure out a way to add it to YouTube side as well. Because it seems unfair for the YouTube side, don't get to experience it. But I added something like this, watch. So, you guys don't know this, but I've been trying to plan out this thing where... You know, I have like, if you guys are on my Twitch side, I have this thing where you guys can redeem like being the first one at my stream. But also, it's a little bit sad because for people coming in that also want to get that first, I want to say like, hey, I'm here for the stream in general. Uh, it's like a daily redeem. I don't have a daily redeem, so I've been trying to come up with one for a second, for a hot while. I finally came up with one, and this is how it looks. Look, look how cute this is, guys. Watch. Watch this. Why is it a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys didn't see that on the top left corner, it's, it's your little item. You guys can do this over on Twitch for channel points. It's like a daily login. But while you're doing a daily login, you get a free item. And what's really cool about it is that it does randomize as well. I added like, what, maybe 40 or 50 items? So whenever you guys do redeem, you get a different item. Why is it a bomb again? I swear I'm not a pyromaniac. So you guys get stuff like clear water, you get stuff like bombs, you get something like grapes. If you guys see the references of the items, this is from the game I play called Atelier. Do you guys recognize the references of the games? Then nice job. But yeah, I added something like this that's super cool. And again, you guys can always just log in daily to streams. You guys get a different item. I thought it was going to log in to get all the items because it's randomized. I wish you guys luck. And then I also added something really cool, which is... Um, if I, it's something I really want to add as well for whenever I got raided. Because I want to add a cool little effect. Okay, you guys will see this in effect later. But I added this really cool thing too where... Um, that gave a second. It's loading. It's a lot of code. But I added that one for a daily login on Twitch. I'll try to make it a command on YouTube as well. So if you guys are on the YouTube side, you can just redeem it on there. Because I want to make sure that everybody has false ways. And then also over here on the... Uh, over here when I get raided, I get something like this. It's a little new alert that comes down on the bottom. I, I'm obsessed with that scene. And what's really cool is that when people come to raid, you get something like this. It's like a little spreadsheet of like a receipt for you guys getting stuff at my little workshop. And again, they do randomize as well. You guys can get something like hammers, bug nets, cannons, essence. Or say like you raid again and you get something like this. You can get like bombs, teddy bears, clovers. This is something new for the raiders whenever they get raided on Twitch. And it depends on the amount of people coming in that it changes items. So you can get up to five items, you get up to four, three, you can get a solo item. It depends on how many people come along with the raid, that's how I coded it. But it's super cool, and I really I really am happy to show these up on Twitch tomorrow. So, if you guys are here on the YouTube side, you guys got a little bit of a surprise for tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> and if you guys are not here, um, again, keep a surprise for everybody else later. Because I want them to be surprised later. Yeah! I hope you guys enjoy those little surprises. I've been working on that this past weekend. Actually, in general, I've been working on that since December. But because of some coding errors, I wasn't able to touch it till later. So, oh, but I'm happy to come to rotation. I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it when you guys come over to the Twitch side tomorrow or in general. Um, I worked hard on this, but yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy. It's it's something that I really been wanting to do, like a, like something that's unique or something that's like casual, you know, like again, like a daily check in, but adding a little bit of flair of like civil. Cause again, like something like this. Like, something like this, it's not something too uncommon. But again, really came out really well, and I'm really happy for it. It looks so good. <laughs> nice job to the zooming and items of redeeming. Yeah! And what's really cool about it, too, is I did add a counter to it as well. I don't have the counter enabled because I don't want to break stuff ahead of time. But it will show how many times you guys checked into the workshop slash stream as well. So, it's just a little check-in. I, I, I got inspired from people doing a check-in. And it's really cool, but I also want a little bit of, like, flair to it as well. So I thought just add a little bit of flair, adding, like... You know, you coming in to get your daily check-ins, but you get a little item as well. And again, it's like, what, 30 to 40 items? I don't know if anybody here is a completionist, but if you guys want to collect them as well, you're more than welcome to, because I, I keep adding more and more items, but 
but I stopped for now because if I add any more, um, I think you guys might suffer. So I don't want you guys to suffer too much. I don't want you guys to suffer too much. I have like what? Three, six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fifty-five plus items. <laughs> I have fifty-five plus items added, so there'll be so many combinations you guys can get with the items. So I'm really excited to see you guys um try it out, see what you guys get. I might add it so that way when we have the whole five stack. I might do like a gotcha where you guys can roll for items. But that'll be like a little more points and stuff because I, that was a little bit bigger. I'm still coming up with new stuff on the way. And again, if you guys have any suggestions that we can add to make the stream like a little bit more unique. If you guys have any suggestions on how to make it like, you know, more on theme. I'm more down with suggestions. You guys can put on my Discord server. Because it's always nice to see what you guys can implement as well. Because maybe you guys have some ideas too. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to share with you guys as a little surprise because I'm very proud of it. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. Again, I totally understand if that's not something that people care too much about. But, I mean, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Hopefully everyone on the Twitch side is excited for it because I would feel sad if people did not like it and they don't really use it. Like, I had to go do a, a redeem purge as well on my Discord server. Not Discord server, on my Twitch side. I had to get rid of some um, redeems because I had too many redeems. So I had to get rid of some stuff, so if you guys go into my Twitch stream and see anything that, like, is not there anymore, I had to change some stuff up because, you know, I'm on, um, I had to change some stuff up. Huh? But yeah, that's it for today's stream, anyways. <laughs> I got to show my little surprise, and I really did enjoy it, so thank you guys again for coming. I think moving forward, with regards to, again, like, the, the YouTube streams, I'll just, you know, play some casual games I haven't gotten to play in a while. And just chill out here and yeah and again if you guys don't know what's going on for this week i do my schedule right here uh the rest of the streams will be over my twitch side so if you guys not follow me on twitch already uh please do check out the twitch side uh tomorrow we'll be streaming reverse 1999 the gacha game i'm gonna continue chapter five hopefully finish it by tomorrow uh if you guys are able to come to that one i am playing the uh, indie game haven which involves two a uh, couple going around an island very chill relaxed and if I don't see you guys on there, if you guys want to come on Fridays, more of my evening streams, around this time when I stream, I'll be doing some rigging when I rig my little chibi model. It's going to be a very stressful time on Friday. I'm going to try to rig a hood on a Light 2D model. And if you guys don't know how to rig a Light 2D model hood, good. I don't know either. It's very hard. But yeah, and also if you guys don't want to come by tonight, uh, tonight we are doing a watch party on my Discord server. So if you guys want to join my Discord server, we're going to do a watch party in about 20 minutes from now. We're going to watch Treasure Planet from Disney. So if you guys want to join us after the stream, you're more than welcome to. But also, if you guys still want to hang out as well. If you guys just want to chill, hang out, get pinged the next time I go live. I'll probably do, um, I'll probably do YouTube pings on my Discord. I'm not going to ping it on Twitter. Just because I've noticed that Twitter is not the nicest. So if you guys want to see the next time I go live on YouTube, keep an eye on my YouTube channel. If you guys want to subscribe, please do. Or if you guys join my Discord server, that's also an option as well. But also if you guys want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers so we can get membership, so we can use some better emotes. So yeah, thank you Air, thank you Deluxe, thank you everybody who came on in. And thank you all the people who subscribed throughout the stream. I really do appreciate it. Again, I'm just getting into uh, to YouTube stuff. But I really do appreciate the support that I've gotten from everybody who's dropped by here. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to rate yet on YouTube. So we're just going to end it here on the just ending screen. But again, have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, and night. I appreciate everybody coming on in. And also civil. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Have a good rest, everybody. And I'll see you guys for the movie night. If not, I'll see you guys on the Twitch side. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye bye. You guys are amazing. And I appreciate you guys so much for coming. Thank you. Matane. Janet.